growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it, you know what I'm saying? We bring you the icons, you know what I'm saying? The legendaries, you know what I'm saying? The up and coming, you know what I'm saying? In the goddamn city. But today, like I always say, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody that's an icon, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody who's legendary. Matter of fact, I got somebody who's a true OG in the motherfucking streets, you know what I'm saying? And he's here to smoke with me, you know what I'm saying? Right. No other, you know what I'm saying, than the one who, you know, Smoke and choke and get that cotton mouth, you know what I'm saying? Represent that motherfucking side, bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to bring a man like this, man. We got no other than a man that done started it, that done pioneered it, man, that done set trends, you know what I'm saying? The go-giver, the infamous, you know what I'm saying? OG, cotton mouth, Jesse. Yes, sir. How about Love, man. Finally got you here. Finally here, man. Finally here. You know what, what I'm saying? Man, say, I, for the ones who don't know, yeah. you know what I'm saying, please let them know who you are and where you from. Cottonmouth, Jason, South Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Holland Hills. Bonton, Dixon. Ferguson. God damn it. I'm from the city, period. You know what I'm talking about? Square of business, square of business, man. Before I dive in there, man, how you doing? I'm blessed, man. Man, already, man. I see that yes. say, man. It's been a long time coming, haven't it? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, shit. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Ten doing toes. It, doing it, doing it for the city. I love it. Man, I want to know, you know, I'm going to take it back. Yeah. When did it first start for you, man? Who really inspired you to really, like, want to pick up a mic and really want to rap? Uh, my dead homie Trey in high school, boy, after high school. I went to Brian Adams on the southeast side and uh, he passed away and got murdered with or whatnot and uh, we was already rapping but uh, shit we were young then but back then I was writing I wasn't even rapping right back then I was writing back then we was fucking with a uh, cat named Ricky Ricardo and Bo Blunt Bo Blunt used to have pimpster and I used to write, I wrote a couple shit for with that I wrote two songs on Goldfinger for his album, it was Sheep Food. I was 15, 16 years old, getting 500 verse through uh, Ray Ricardo. You know, Get Your Bomb was on Set of Five Spring Valley. I was shit, 16, 17, then. You know, but my partner Trey, he was, the, he was the, the one we had to dream into. And shit, back then we was even Fuck with it. We was opening up for MC Hammer and shit like that back then. We was kids, we was young and a bitch. But cause of Bo Blunt and uh, Pimps and shit back then, we was all fucking around and uh, my, my big bro Bo Blunt. He was the one that gave me the game and initiation to get some money with this shit and be for real about it because he showed me the business side of it. Okay, so you shout out to Bo Blunt. Shout out to Bo Blunt. Love my nigga. <laughs> nah, for real, for real. So. MC Hammer, y'all was open up for MC Hammer and everything like that? We was kids, still high school. What? So what was that experience like? You know what I'm saying? Because I know MC Hammer, that boy had a crowd with him. Back then, yeah. Mm hmm Well, we opened our first show in San Antonio. We did so good shit and they got some good rooms and shit. Back then we were a freak. Back then you had the beat machine on, on, on stage there. You know, had you want to be running the MC, big ass wood, wood panel ass 808. Right. Doing the beats live with, the, with, with my DJ, my nigga E, Sean Randolph, he bring that shit back and we had a little beat playing, shit like that. Oh, so y'all was doing it like how New York basically was doing it. Yeah, yeah that's all we were back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah running the 808. Everybody, everybody back then, you had to go off the East Coast. That's all we, that's all we had with the East Coast. Right. And, and the West was just now coming up. Right. So, like, what was some of the game Bo Bunk was teaching you, you know what I'm saying, to really start you on your journey? Uh, show contracts. Right, right. Uh, um, Studio time, definition of royalties, definition of publishing, what copyrights were, but he was a, a football agent too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, uh, he was he was he was he was an agent for uh, Barry Sanders back then. Played for, oh, played for the Lions. Yeah, yeah. He went to Wichita, Kansas, uh, Wichita State. He was married to uh, Reggie Miller's cousin, and they was from Wichita, Kansas. But Bo Blunt, you know what I'm saying, moved out here from Archer. He, he was a football player, everything. Everybody know Bob BK Blunt, man. He was a man with a pimp. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, all that kind of yeah. shit. We, 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 we was his second group. Okay, so what was the, okay, so you said you was the second group. What was the name of y'all group? 
Back then we was Maximum Factor, then we right. South Coast. Maximum Factor, and then South Coast. Then it was South Coast. South Coast. Then South Coast. South Coast jumped on because we won the challenge show at Genesis. Okay. Back in the gap. The Snake had Genesis. Right. Uh huh. That's how we started fucking around with Snake now. And uh, we did the South Coast thing through uh, Alvin T. Baby Scott. They used to own the Lexington. Mm. And all the clubs down here. All the club club owners, this, so, this they OG. T. Baby, Alvin Scott. So what, he was like the hub? Oh, he was the owner of all the hub main clubs and shit? Back in the gap. Back in the gap. Oh, yeah. him, him and his little crew, Jamie Price, Lil Keith, okay. T. Baby. A bunch of cats, man. That's how I come up and really do that. That atmosphere of the club game and the little kid had Genesis and shit like that and uh, we got on because we won a Genesis uh, rap con uh, rap contest challenge or whatever it was back then. It wasn't really the challenge, it was mostly rap. But uh, DJ Snake from Nemesis and all that was DJ and that was, that was their club too. He was DJing and uh, Big Al, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Big Al. Yeah. Yeah, Big Al was MC and Snake was DJing and Al was DJing. They were bringing rap a lot then. Uh, Shit, eight ball MJG, uh, your big mellow Scarface, back with back with Big Mike joining the Ghetto Boys. Right. They had a big release party at Genesis, and all that kind of shit. That was really kind of like when I stayed in Holland Hill. That's like we talking from high school to getting out on your own type shit. Right. So it went from Maximum Factor in school, this short production. We was on Muncie Avenue in West Dallas. My roster, my roster partner, uh, Big Carlos. He was the first person to put some money into it back then. So we have been transit, transitional. Just like if we, if everybody that know me know, I've been doing shit as I was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying. But so I didn't get serious with the shit till my, my 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 nigga died. You know what I'm saying. And we talking about 24K. Okay? 24 was really real to my trait. Okay, trait. How okay. my mind, like, okay, well, I got a five, you know, a nigga, nigga young. Okay. Nigga had a baby senior year in high school. Right, right, right. So then you got thinking, okay, now I got to find something else to do out here, you know what I'm saying? But you just try to hustle, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But we was always on the beats, skipping school, digging in crates, and on some real live day one, you know, want to want, want to be in the hip hop atmosphere of young kids. You know what so what was the atmosphere like? In Dallas at this time, like really, cause you know what you talking about is like what eighty eight, what eighty six, eighty. Yeah, I'm a kid, so that's the eighties. This, this is the mid eighties. This is uh, Dallas when it was pineapple waves, okay, herring bones, the Adidas long switch, the pineapple waves with the lion yeah. tail, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, uh -huh. real Dallas shit, yeah, you know, wearing your your, your platinum silver herring bone uh, Adidas suit, even Marks hats, right. Start the jackets to represent your hood, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Lock these forms, go to the front, get your ass beat up, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, square business, square business. So, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like day one with the with the hip hop shit in Dallas, cause it's kind of like I said, born and raised into it from the people that was already in the game, you know what I'm saying? When, when the radio had uh, Nick Jones, you know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. like that. I remember Nicky Jones. Nicky Jones, he was uh, he was the first black man. Uh, to what, be the manager or owner or something? Nicky Jones was like the first street DJ, him and Yusha. Oh, that's what it was. When Yusha had the, the, uh, the group Lakeside had the song Work That Nick. Yeah, Work That Nick. Yeah, that's yeah. where the club Lakeside come from. Mm. See, them, them was his youngsters back then. Kevin Pratt and Lil' Keanu, all that kind of shit, radio to the club, network, connect game kind of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So coming up in the game, that was really, that was, that was really my stronghold. Oh, a lot of cats is low key. My connection was I knew the club owners. Right. And then they, they pulled me out. Snake is connected with all these niggas from what he's been doing there since I've never seen them. So it was kind of like a, you know what I'm saying, a connect game type shit. But it was always on the road right now. And yeah, from back then, you know, you keep connect, you know, you connect to the city. But. So, who, okay, so at this time, who was all out, like, besides Nemesis and everything that was rocking with y'all? Like, what was y'all going up against? What, what was the atmosphere? I wasn't, I like? wasn't going up against nothing. I'm, I'm in production then. I'm a young nigga that's hanging around at the fly on the wall. Okay, all you right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, so okay. I'm still South Coast. I'm still, I'm still, we still trying to make the South. This is before we even did the South Coast shit. You know what I'm saying? We had already had, you know what I'm saying? I shit it done. Right. Me, my little brother, from Rest in Peace, Corey Jesse, uh, and my other brother, Jan, and little Gary D. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I was really in the background, but I was, I was a serious one. Okay. You know, my okay. brother, they was, you know what I'm saying, fuck off and, 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 you know what I'm saying, hustle and all kind of shit. But I was really serious about trying to make this shit crack, because that's why I come up in high school. I say, I, I got in trouble in high school, skipping school. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what, what high school and stuff you were going to? I went to Brock, well, I moved from Dixon, I was going to Florence. Okay. We moved to Houston, 
when I was young, and I went to I went to Northwood and I went to C. E. King, and my brother went from Southwood Cliff and graduated from Fort Brook all in a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I come back to D Town my ninth grade year when I was a kid, shit like that. But at the same time, even back then, it was still like a kid, right? Trying to you know hip hop. Mm -hmm. So you follow this shit. That H Town. So that's how you really when you move to H Town. That's kind of how you kind of start maneuvering, maneuvering that H Town place. Peeping the, the culture. Okay. All right. Like her, it was two yeah. different, like you know, from right home, two right. different atmospheres. You know what I'm saying? But when I came back home, started going to Brian Adams. He was already in front of the game. Like, okay, man, I'm about to. I was DJing a little right. bit too, and I wouldn't. You know, we beat on the wild school and rap and shit, but shit, you had to fuck with Trey. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Trey had it all. Trey, uh, my partner Ace. Uh, man, who else fuck with uh, Stone. Stone made the beats. Uh, OG Stone made the beats when we were in high school. That's Gutter J. Okay. Gutter J rap now? Yeah, the Gutter J, yeah. Okay, that's his old man. Okay, shout out two times. Again, it's all connected. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pop out guy. <laughs> Already. So, like, what, what yes, other inspiration, huh? <laughs> what other inspirations, man, you was having outside of Dallas, you know what I'm saying, that was inspiring you? Um, West Coast hip hop. West Coast. East Coast hip hop, that's, that's what you had. Right. You know, you had to, your mama had the big ass stereo. You know? Right, 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 right. And you popped the tape in. Yeah. You, know. you remember the TV that had the stereos on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I had that, but I used to work that. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, uh, it's like I can sit there for five, six hours, man, and tell you, though, because uh, before I met Snake, they were recording beats as a kid, you know what I'm saying? In high school, you, Snake got the beats on Canyon 89.3 here in Dallas. Right. And he had a moment where he played his beats. His beats, that's how he got known for beats. He had a section where he played number of the beats, but, you know, Dallas was known for bass back then. Right. So back then, you heard Snake from the beats, you're record that hoe. Right, because you know that motherfucker, yeah, it's, it's thump, you know what I'm saying? Well, as a young nigga, you know, being from Holly Hills, it was like, I'm, I'm, I'm a fly on the wall. I'm watching Big Dank battle. Uh huh. See, I'm from the hills. Okay. You know See, what I'm okay, here we go. Now, now, yeah, now you're so, dropping it. So Big Dank was out there. Yeah, Big Dank. Uh, Shout out Big Dank. Who? Oh yeah, you know who? Uh, Fresh Rock Productions with K Cole and them, and G Mo and them, and Snoop and them. Uh, Mad Flavor, Baby Mad G. Mad Flavor. Okay. Cold Chris. Yeah, Cold Chris. Yeah. They yeah. was the first one to have Biggie. Fuck with them, Biggie used to be fuck with them boy too. What was called Chris and that? Cause K Son, they had a nigga, my nigga named K Son was from New York. See, I'm the, hey man, Pop Pop Cat, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, K Son, that was that light skin dude, light skin, yeah, uh, heavy set, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Real down the shit. Yeah, that's square business, man. You know what I'm so you know, this this one he was uh notorious B I G. Okay. They had a club downtown in Deep Ellum back then where you know you come and do your thing. Right. And like, well, there's nice shit like that. So of course, back then New York was a shit. So everybody wanted that you know the, the beat nuts and all that old hip hop whoop bap sound. You know what I'm right. saying? It was it was it was it was what we jammed. But we was going down there with that Southside gangsta shit. Right. Doing that thing. But so when was the first time you ever got in the studio and just really was just like born and raised across the stone? Like when you laid down your first track, you know what I'm saying? Westside, really West West Dallas, Muncie Avenue, with your making ass with Rasta Carlos. Oh, he had the studio on Monster on Muncie Avenue, back in the gap. Then he changed it to a form. He was the roster had the form on Muncie Avenue in West Dallas. Okay. I think the Fed Jake him up something that for him and his wife. Now that was the first studio we went to. Shit like that. All when all when all when was like young in the studio, fucking around with. You know, uh, go find them over that light session because earthquake, you get earthquake from okay. South Dallas. Earthquake. Yeah. See what I'm saying? All right, okay. See, all right. It's all, it's all connected. You know what I'm saying? So, where the name Cottonmouth come from? Man, on the road doing South Coast, my wife can't attest to this. <laughs> and uh, my rap name was Jesse Jicks. Okay. I was getting tired of my little buzzing them fucking off, don't want to be serious. Right. This how I know baby. So okay. I know baby. Okay, okay. So we down there in Shreveport trying to do our thing for us. I'm on the road. These niggas got the hotel and mouth the key to the hotel. Oh, shit. And fucking all the bitches that work at the hotel room. That's how they got the key. <laughs> we down there supposed to be working and doing radio and shit. You know what I'm saying? And goddamn, I got tired of this shit. I smoked and smoked and smoked. I kept saying, you fucking rap, man. My girl said, what you thinking about now? Something about, you know, like, you know. Under back then, I'm thinking I'm under. I'm, I'm fucking with Snake. Right. DJ Snake Nemesis. His name is DJ Snake. You know, I need something to coincide with that, but don't mean Snake like a reptile. 
Okay. I okay. said, Kyle Brown with a K. Because I smoked him back then. Right, right. And if you know me, you know me. I was smoking. That pine is. That pine. <laughs> Top flight. <laughs> Not only that pine, but you know what I'm saying? I was in the world. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, I was on the third coast and, and, and dunking and, and bumping. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know, so. That was all the beginning of this shit, man. Kind of like, uh, like I say, man. You know, you know when you when you're young and you got a dream, right? Right. You know, it's like a nigga tell you, like nowadays, you see niggas say, "Man, I was in a trap. I was this. I was that." You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't come up like that. I was already fucking with me before I quite got got my first bag. Right. You know what I'm saying? For my brain set to be together. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Now right. you see all now from a trap to a booth. It didn't come to me. I'm, I'm, I'm really a kid getting my ass with paint on walls and, right you know what I'm saying stuck in my room rapping off Houdini right can't right. fuck up you know making my own demo and go to school and jam them hoes you know right you know uh, the cool kid that don't fuck with me you know what I'm saying when you, you know you had a nigga in school nigga can draw yeah. he gonna be on the wall and rap when I was a kid that was, them was the niggas like yeah, you know the talented you know the talented one uh-huh. you know we gonna we, uh, work the college shit back, back in school the sock cop yeah uh huh okay we yeah. were a ghetto kids goddamn. we gonna get in for 10 cents cause we ain't got 35 cents goddamn. damn right right we gonna, we gonna get that last 20 minutes bitch and everybody know when these kids come me kids come here uh-huh. get bitch from live work right right you know what I'm saying different yeah. they ain't they ain't doing you're, that you're normal shit you a little bit younger than me but back then we had sock cops uh-huh. in, 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 in school and, and that when the kids could get to release their energy in the morning you being that bitch dancing the Dougie Fresh and everything you know what I'm saying right. but you know that was hip hop you know what I'm saying that's what it was like if you didn't know the Dougie Fresh song or Lion Dottie when I'm going to goddamn me Florence and John B. Hood on Dixon Mike, you'll get your ass beat up Oh man, say that. You know say now, now that's hip hop. That's hip hop. <laughs> yeah. Like uh-huh. you get on the school bus, <coughs> niggas start saying, "Body like die saying that whole bitch back then." You ain't know the song. You get your ass beat up. We kid. That hoe is smoking, man. Chuck man. For, for real. Fix split man. Yeah, yeah, man. That's was... hip hop. So I come up in the transition of a kid want to want to be in hip hop, want to rap. But you know, I was an MC because they had to battle at school. You battle at the fair. You right. battle downtown. You. Right. But I saw this shit while I was jumping to this shit because Big Dyke was turning nigga ass apart. Uh, Byron Love, I think his name is now, was DTR. Yeah, Byron Love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he used to spray, he used to spray paint DTR all over South Down on wild and shit like DTR. Like okay, you know DTR. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like shit like that. Uh, <coughs> Devo X. Man, deep, don't a lot of people don't be bringing Curtis up. Blow. Curtis Blow. Uh, he had the first 1 in 100 buy a goddamn CD off the TV. You know right, what I'm saying? Everybody right, had right, 100 yeah, 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 100. <laughs> He was right in time with the 1 in 100. Right. Yeah, so niggas don't, you know, uh, Mac Time Posse. Uh, what's the boy took the damn cup right in front of Holmes Junior High? Man, what's them boys, man? A bunch of niggas, man. You know, but yeah. these the cat those around Bobo and them. And, right. You know, Bobo Luciano and them. That's that's Snake and them. That's Ron C. That's 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 that's, that's Goody Ray and them. That's that's Al. That's you know Doc Funk. That's you know what I'm saying. The whole shit. You know what I'm saying. That's Joe Mac. You know what I'm saying. Ron C. Joe Mac over down Dixon with the you know what I'm saying with them, with them boy with the seven boy. This is all way back then. You know what I'm saying. I'm on. I'm, I'm from Bunton, you know what I'm right, saying? Young right. niggas seeing this shit, getting to this shit, and then start seeing what it was. My first real shit was us on the road, watching how MC Ron C did his shit, because he platinum gold back then. Right, right. You know, watching yeah. how Joe making them move, watching how Big Eye did his thing, then seeing real niggas. And what, you know what Ron C was profiling them then? They right? both were profiled. Okay. Shit, okay. everybody was on profile. Yeah, right? everybody, MC, yeah. got yeah. Him and, uh, Sugar T, shit, Corn May, uh, Salt and Pepper. I can go through that because I, again, a kid, I get mad with from going to Bills trying to get some goddamn wax. Come right. Play. Yeah. Right. Bills say Bill CDs was, the, was or it was records, my bad. Let me clear that up. You know what I'm saying? And I used to go to Sound Records too over there in Dirt. So, by, you know, like high school, we the, we the kids with the two light joints in the locker. Yeah. From listening to my damn C, I keep up inside my locker. You see. <laughs> you know, you get your ass whooped and kick out of school, you kick out with joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, was so man, so like, okay, yeah, that motherfucker blowing. So what was it? So what was the transition from Maximum Factor to South Circle? South Coast. I mean South Coast. My bad. I keep getting um, that mixed up. Transition was uh after Trey died. Okay. 
trying to train that with a transition. That was just time to get sick. Because somebody died, we did this shit every day. We jammed ice tea every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to be fucking ice tea. We wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. Tea, back then, six in the morning, some of these niggas bitches too, power, colors, shit. We wanted to be in that same position. You know what I'm saying? But right. it's hip hop. But we seeing the content of a nigga hustling, getting to it and everything else. And then we transitioning, we get to it, trying to get to it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all nigga went from McDonald's to, to, a, to a pack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real. It's hip hop shit. Real quick, yeah. That's when it transitions, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Okay, well, goddammit, nice tea, easy, but never know. Now they coming down south, now you got the cool G raps, and they speaking that gang shit from New York, and we jamming. You know what I'm saying? We selling the LL, but we got this shit. We from the south. All this shit cultivating. We got face. We got all this shit coming up. And you, you a kid. You absorbing that shit in. Yeah, taking that shit in. Like, like shit. Like which way I'm gonna go? You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, so it be like, you know, in my personal life, I jam shit. I some, some gangster reggae out goddamn day long. Right, right. Every day, all day. I'm on. I jam reggae. I, Shit, I'm on. Boom, 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 boom. Give a damn. That's where I come up from Carlos when I was young nigga. Right, right. And back then he used to make us he he, he he used to make us read books before we record. You couldn't record if you didn't read a book or something. You didn't read a Marcus go over letter to a black man or some shit that you can't go in the book. He'll cut the studio down. So back. education too at the same yeah, time. We coming yeah. up and you get them with all this old uh, MCH shit and all this. You know what I'm saying? This, right. is, the, this is when the gang shit was the gangster shit. Right. So right. the same process it is now was going down there for us. Right. Hey man, y'all niggas don't need whoop whoop. So then everybody was jumping to the game. Everybody want to rap. So out the South Coast. And, and, and y'all only how many projects y'all did? That was the only one y'all only, only did one. Did. That was the only one, right? Yeah. So, but then my brother, then my little brother, then your little brothers on the album, and they ass was not serious, right? They knew I was serious, <laughs> right, right, right. They wouldn't give a fuck. So you, so this is where you decide to go solo. Yeah, not so much solo, but my brothers, right? But still, but you they, going, they my young brothers, right, right. right. Hear me again. So we think they were doing out of line. Goddamn it! Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> Get to it, you know what I'm saying? While I'm trying to rap, these niggas still want to hustle and right. fuck all them for bitches. Like these, they my young brother, like these my young brothers. Right. So I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm already seeing. Okay, I'm trying. Y'all come on, man. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm, you know. It be like I said, I'm serious. Then I'm writing every day. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm you know, it's kind of like when you meet somebody, like a, a producer when you're a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a cat back then. Um, you know, what was that boy's name? Lance Romance. He fucked with Bobby Brown. He was a producer out there. Snake, uh, Willie Fresh, uh, Fresh Rock Productions. Uh, he also doing beats back then. Google, Red Room. Mm -hmm. uh, my nigga J, rest in peace. Uh, DJ J, Tall J. He used to do beats. Uh, Willie Boy. Yeah, Willie Boy. Uh, hey, Willie Boy passed away? Yeah. Boy. You know that that that's that's fucked up because he just came on my house. You know he was trying to get black, it. black all that shit. Yo. Yeah, when, when boy was a man, that boy had some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, same thing, man. Because the East Side had Funky Lee. Yeah, Funky Lee. Then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, I heard it's Funky like Lee. A fly on the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a fly on the wall. I'm watching Funky Lee. I'm watching the Big Danks. I'm watching Dave and them. I'm watching Left Right Shoe MCs. I'm. I'm I'm watching Rag and them, Rag Top and them, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching you know who mm -hmm. my boy and my hoe was a jam. Remember my boy and hoe? Mm hmm. Yeah. My boy and hoe. Yeah, that was the, yeah. that was the jam. That was one of our jams. Remember we my boy like, and hoe? Because I don't know, like, they got so many misconceptions about Dallas. We got so many hits. And culture. Yeah, and the culture. Yeah, but see, it was Center Lines, Dayton's. Jeffers, short box, shop, short box truck, yeah. like it is now. Niggas still ride trucks, country boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Dallas shit. Right. Find another, find another way. Big Chevy, you know what I'm saying? Chevy was grilled, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know, man. That's a hey, man say. You know what I'm saying? West Dallas Park, you know, Rochester, Fell, all that kind of shit was a ride. The Loop 12 was, you, you rolled the Loop. Yeah. You rolled that Loop. You rolled the Loop. You know you what I'm saying? God damn it. You know what see, I'm see, take your bitch ass right through there. That's what you, <laughs> yeah, you mean? <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? So now, like, cause at that time, like, you right? It, it, it was Dallas. Dallas was wide open too, especially with me. Was it even money and music? The music part was uh to me 
was like it is right now. It's a, it's a worldwide thing. Dallas always been the melting pot. It's a worldwide thing. Right, right. It ain't coming here and it's gonna hear a particular, particular. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna hear a particular, particular. You will come to Dallas, you can get everything. Right. Gumbo pot. It's a gumbo pot and then what it is. So your percentage of whatever field you choose, if you're in the gender or whatever you're doing, it is what it is. Until you cross that, that threshold of well, different nationalities jamming your shit, then you really need to. It's just a different process for us in North Texas than it is in South Texas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, what really made you insert yourself? Because I know this coming up. Yeah. You couldn't go nowhere and do nothing without saying no. Cotton Mouth Jesse. Mm -hmm. You couldn't go nowhere without saying no. Oak Cliff Assassin. Oak Cliff Assassin, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. No Pimpster. Nemesis. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what what was really making you stand out? You know what I'm saying? Because you stood out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the connecting. It's the right. connect game. Because without, without, when all this shit I just mentioned, you know, the heart of it all was Midwest distributions. Right. So that's when you say what you just said. Oh, right, right. Okay, me a young nigga, okay. All these niggas cool. Right. I need to talk to that white boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I need to, yeah, come to my legend. Yeah, but not like, oh, let me get to him, like, let me show that I'm already there before you even meet me. Right. But not even knowing I'm doing that type of shit, just knowing that uh, I wasn't going to accept no 12 point spread. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I come up on the boat blunt, so I right. understood the percentage of what I should be worth if I do it this way or this way. Right. You know, I'm watching him do buddies where a nigga got 12%, but he got six figures up front, but he got to be careful. Right. Back then, that was the budget, the budget shit. You know, I didn't watch people fuck the budget, so I didn't watch niggas connect game and, hey man, do some shit for me, I'm gonna get that shake, we're gonna split that bitch. That's how, that's how it is, but that's the rap hustle. Now that you cast, I know nothing about that kind of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, nigga, that's how I knew. You know, I'm, I'm doing all this. I did Poets and Gangsters as Jesse Jess. And then when I did the Cottonmouth album. I was already like coming coming through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if it's an album called Poets and Gangsters, the Snake had a compilation album. Poets and Gangsters. You don't see records put it out. Had a bunch of cats on four weeks. I think I come. got it. It was, it was like a compilation almost mm -hmm. like. The, yeah. The first album mm -hmm. is, is, uh, Jesse just solo, and then shit, I'm smoking and dunking and punching and drinking, you know what I'm saying? So, because uh, cutting my shit, okay, well, this I won't come. I'm come on the street shit with a little street knowledge. I'll mix in type shit. And that's what I did. But just to, you know, the trend setting about that, you know, again, it was already other quests and, and things before that, because shit, my, 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 my uh, brother-in-law with the fresh, I was with him at the funky spots before I even, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like we had a little group called Fresh Dead Beats and shit like that. And the travel I had been through with this shit, like I said before, was like, I'm a kid, I gotta go. On my way to this goal, shit changing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And niggas think it's a game, but it really ain't. Cause mm -hmm. I done been right here watching boys sell their souls, and but I'm a kid. But the nigga that signed me, they off the record. I'm like, he already knew, like, this snake, snake ain't grown me no fool. I'm watching Nemesis, how they get nails, how they come in, how, you know what I'm saying? How they, what they gotta do, to, you know what I'm saying? Get their buttons right and make sure they on spark and with the right place and spending, spending, spending money to, to cover the buttons they doing, you know what I'm saying? But it's big time shit. Three tools and a big mic. I'm like, oh wow. Mm-hmm. And like, and that's nothing yeah, I like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm just like, then I ain't right. know what's up, my nigga. Like, right. okay, that's three tools. In my brain, that nigga can rap. Right. Man, that big mic, that nigga can rap. Right. I couldn't wait to hear a nigga rap. I'm damn this starstruck to be in a dressing room just fucking off for Genesis on the after on the evening time and watching. A balls and they you know, NJG or Scarface and them come through and mic check and we in that bitch at five in the evening, four in the evening and we just kids but we on this South Coast shit trying to put this shit together. We ain't knowing that man. You know what I'm saying? But we kids, man. You right. Mean, get like, my South Coast out, man. I'm I, I like a goddamn baby on that bitch. And that, and that's and that's what that's why that's what I finna get to because yo because you gotta 
not only do you got a story, not only you got history, not Maybe only history, man. And not only do you <laughs> you got a legacy. How that shit look, man? <laughs> Good. Not, not only do you got a legacy, it's like how you connect with people. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not it's not like I noticed like throughout your career, like you 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 always brand yourself with other with other opportunities like the PKO, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you come back and then you got the rally boys, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. And then you got the real the real, the real you know what I'm saying? And the like on. What, like what was the start? What was the start of real the real? You know what I'm saying? Cause that was the first one that really just gave you know. Really, like, but the real the real was after 100 percent cotton mouth. Right. Oh, so real the so 100 percent cotton mouth wasn't on real the real. No, that was on Young Breakfast. That was on Young Breakfast. Through PKO. Through PKO, okay. All right, all right. You're right because the yeah. dude got the PKO on that. Oh, yeah. PKO uh -huh. back in the gap had a song where they was dissing, dissing quick. Uh, San Antonio ain't shit like Compton. Fool, remember all that? <sighs> You're a young nigga. You ain't nothing about that. Nah. And it had the, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Sunday at the Park, and it had an album called The Good, The Bad, The Mafia. That bitch sold independently over 100,000 independent. <laughs> Shout out to my partner, Mark Adams. Mark, Mark Burgers on in San Antonio down there. Y'all fuck with him. Mark Allen Burgers. You heard, you heard them names right Shout there. Shout out to my nigga Nino. <laughs> yeah, man. So, golly. Nino with Pony J. We did Down South Hustlers. Mm -hmm. I did all this shit, man. I, I got to get to that Down South Hustlers. But you just hustles, said but, 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 but right. for real. 100% Cotton Mouth with the Pimp C. Mm -hmm. That's out South Coast. South Coast, 100% Cotton Mouth. Okay. Good. Right. Good. Jesse just Cotton Mouth. Right? That's Cotton Mouth. No Jesse. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm gonna go there with you. That's cotton mouth, no Jesse. Okay? Facts. Now if I'm spinning game and call making phone calls, cause I always sold myself, like you just said, I always branded and did my shit. Cause I was always on my baby Jay-Z shit. Mm -hmm. Niggas know this. This is my business. I know how to handle this shit. I'm gonna rock this mic. I'll wrap the bitch ass on the table. I'm out here and make a beat, go in the boo, do it, go sit and talk to him about it. It's gonna cost you this hill and look you right here, got that mountain looking at you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, see, you know I wouldn't. <laughs> so it's like, that's the cotton mouth, that's the artist, but the nigga behind the scenes is a young man trying to figure this shit out, but I'm hustling my ass off. Mm -hmm. And I represent my town, ready to goddamn me die by it and whoop a nigga ass if you disrespect what I'm on. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm on the South Side shit and I'm going everywhere screaming South Dallas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. There was a me? process. I know it was a Yeah, I'm going oh. everywhere saying South Dallas, nigga, ain't nothing. Oak Cliff, nigga, Pleasant Grove, nigga. You know what I'm saying? East Dallas, I'm going west, I'm going everywhere saying this shit. I remember having me, the race they tell me people don't want to hear the name of our streets. And I said bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nigga want to hear it coming down Bucknell or going up Camp Wisdom. I'm, I'm, I'm uptown. Nigga want to represent. That's why it is where it is today. But right. niggas, niggas don't know I did that. I sacrificed for that. I I tore the radio station up for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Shit like that. Now I heard all the stories. Back you to what you were saying. It's 100% cotton mouth. There we go. Featuring Pimp C and okay. Nino. Then it was real to real because Johnson Records, the guy behind, it changed his name to Jamani Park, and we continued on with the Killer Cottonfield slash real to real. Uh, so once the real to real imprint got on there, here go Mr. Jesse, and I'm off that 12 point spread. Mm. I'm off that 12 point deal. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm saying Cotton Mouth, that was like, we just gonna do this one. It wasn't like you owe me 10. Right. Just one. But I had to work for that, you know what I'm saying? Through Poets and Gangsters, through helping out, through putting putting PKO shit on the wall, through making sure I'm on point for Nino, making sure I'm on point for Snake, you know what I'm saying? But. We had a schedule, nigga, see you at 10 in the morning. We gonna go from 10, maybe 3 in the morning back then. Nigga parked the car. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was buddies. It was the real game of the business of hip hop was being done. Niggas was young niggas too, had money, but got distribution, got budgets, and niggas sitting in the studio 10 hours. We got 10 hour blocks, so a song wasn't on rush. Right. That's why this is the old shit, so much content, a nigga had 10, 15 hours to work on that bit. Nowadays, these niggas be rushing to say some garbage rather than taking their time and slowing it down. Right. Slow it, slow it down, think about what we got going on out here to change nigga, change nigga vibration. You feel know what I'm saying? So, like you saying, the distribution. Y'all mm -hmm. fuck the record deals back then. It was strictly going there, print these records up, distribution, get them on out there, you know what I'm saying, get them out, and they'll however much it is for 
I got what? 30 records here, whatever, 30 CDs here, you know what I'm saying? That was the best way to do it, but it was a lot of cats getting that shit pressed up. Right. You From know? the distribution. Yeah, right. Robert, Robert Gillum at Southwest Wholesale, the Phillips family and uh Selecto Hits, uh Gonzalez, all these people, man, I I've been on these people since I was young. You know, right. these you know. I mean, meeting these people and get a check on a Sunday type shit. Right, like, right. They got, hey man, check your dough. It's a pay on my, on a Sunday. Like open my shit there. Right. But to learn the game is the process of that from my, uh, Mark Allen. Okay. 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 Through Midwest Records. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm in the back seat of the, of the fleet just listening. He was doing shows and all the shit back then too. But I was, you know, what I'm saying listening. Nigga, he pressing it up and whatever they were doing, they were getting that money. Cause back then it's the same thing now. It's wholesale for retail. Mm -hmm. So by the time you buy it, we already paid. We 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 good. Right. If you bought it at the store, well you ain't buy it from us, you bought it from them. Right. We sold to the to the people. Right. But the press up was the was the game of people. So I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just had I had I had I had to let people know what he's trying to say because a lot of people just go over a lot of people's head. Yeah. And what he's telling you is like, yeah, I'm selling these records straight up to distribution. Yeah. They getting that off off the top. Off the top. It's, it's, it's up to them to do whatever they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So he's not worried about selling records. He's worried about marketing. All that. Oh, yeah. I, know. I got you. No, I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. I got it, you. It, it, yeah. It's like if they give you a check and say, we're going to press this up for you, mm -hmm. that ain't to go in your pocket, nigga. That, that's to go out there and, and make some noise. That's right. You can put something in your pocket and do what you're going to do. Because right. again, this is how the flip came in. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. This is how the flip came in. I'm a nigga rapping. Okay. I, I need about 16 of these. And, you know. A couple of drinks and a couple of pan paints and shit. I got my rap pack and goddamn it, you know what I'm saying? That was the transition. This is like, okay, I can't make money, a nigga doing show, but you know, everywhere we're going, nigga trying to get, okay, well, shit, nigga, we, whatever a nigga want, you know what I'm saying? If the hustle was on, the rap was in the front, the game was supposed to stay in the back. Pretty clear, that's how it always been. Why? The rap supposed to be in the front, the game supposed to be in the back. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So coming up in between this shit and like, okay, well, I know how to maneuver. I'm talented and I'm a businessman. And you don't know that till you meet me. Right. Really? Nigga, he can rap. Okay, <laughs> okay I rap. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, yeah, right, okay. I don't. I'm MC. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and and I, I don't know nothing but getting money from this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, independently. Like, hustle, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, hustle. Like, if you're gonna get it down, get it down. But like I said back then, I don't give it down. I'm gonna give you a small scale, just on a business perspective for a young nigga. If you just did 7,000, just fuck it, back then, CDs alone, just a young nigga, you just a young nigga. I'm just giving you low ball numbers, right, right. 7,000 three times a year. Okay? They give you what? Let's go focus, it's four quarters in a year. Well, so it was 21, then. No, so that's 20, 28. 28 now. Okay, yeah. you're 28. Mm -hmm. 28, you're a young nigga. Now multiply that times 10. And you're a young nigga. Back oh, yeah. then. This yeah. is before the feds and the young thugs and we gonna give him a Rico case. Cause this this here got more involved in the process of let's not stop the real marketing of the good things. We need to market our goods. Put a barcode on this. This belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Now it's all done through branding t shirts and everything else. Back then it was just a CD. Mm -hmm. But it was a barcode, your goods. You can't come fuck with us, we legit. We done sold this here, we so again, that's 280,000, I just multiplied mm -hmm. for one year. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> God damn it, fire this back up. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Hondo. Look, right. <laughs> What's up, man? But yeah, just analyzing the game, man, I always be on top of my shit, but I always knowing in the back of this shit, putting myself in a position as a MC slash rapper. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. To right. handle my business and talk to you know what I'm saying, and let people know break the fake. Cause one thing I learned about fucking with the uh, the niggas I come up with, you know, you look a man in his face. Like, they used to scold me, young niggas head now. Hey man, you cooked off gas, snake. Yeah, niggas say, look, yeah, yeah, you know look what I'm saying? Eye, yeah. <laughs> But just the shy kid shit, you know. Mm -hmm. shit, but tell me rap, I'm in your ass. Right, 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 right. You know? So real shit, just learning as a kid, okay, man, I'm in this rap shit, you know, talented, I can do this shit, you know what I'm saying? But when it starts time to get to the money, like same thing niggas say, man, look at me and talk to me. So I wouldn't be out here fucking up, like, what you got going on? Right. 
I'm up here every day wrapping my ass off, man. I need to make some money. <laughs> what was the process working with Pimp, man? Because you got with Pimp early on. Man, uh, Bobo and Magic and uh, Snake put it together. I, uh, I had just moved to the north side from Holland Hills to be close to the street. This is how I got to the north, to the north. Okay. Start fucking pooping. Uh, Forest Lane and Jill Court. Uh, they did something, man. I came to the studio that morning and, you know, kept saying, nigga, Pimp C finna come to a song with you, man. <laughs> so, man, stop goddamn me bullshitting me. You know what I'm right. saying? Pimp C is not coming to this motherfucking studio. Now, back then, not thinking, Magic Mark had just did for a UGK somewhere in the town somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, not thinking. Really? Nah, I feel you. Like, you like Call nigga, girl, I said, this nigga keep talking about Pimp C coming up here. <sighs> nigga, a couple of hours later, man, nigga showed up like a bitch. <laughs> I said, God damn. I be on my shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you wanted someone, you had some ready, you had some prepared, or what? Y'all just yeah, went there, yeah. okay, all right, yeah, because oh, I know we you. We had nothing prepared, we, okay. we, we sat down, Okay. Snake on, uh, Snake doing his thing and, and making the beats, or uh, my nigga uh, Five Fingers, was putting some shit together. Yeah, yeah, my nigga Five Fingers, what I was saying. He was putting some shit together. Uh, Greg, man. Shout out to Greg, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He put some shit together. Pimp C come that bitch. You know how he doing the mm -hmm. shit, you know? But before we get that, like I say, back then, nigga from that, he from, boy, mm -hmm. you know, this on. Yeah. Screw house. Ain't mm -hmm. no goddamn me sitting rapping. He finna come to that bitch and yeah, yeah, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I'm already prepared. Right, right. You feel me? Cause right. I'm a young nigga, been doing this shit since high school. Yeah, and I've been waiting. <laughs> I'm starstruck, yeah, yeah. but I ain't starstruck. Yeah, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Hungry. Check this out. Yeah. yeah so you know, know. And then when we did the song, we like this in the booth. It wasn't no your time, my time. All right. He was in the corner. I was in the corner. Them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. how it was done back then. Yeah. You in the corner, I'm in the corner. <coughs> right. We can record it. Right. So it wasn't no my time, your time. You know what I'm saying? Right. We right, come right. from out the booth with Snape was doing that. Say, man, it's going to the booth, going to do this shit. Right. Because we down there freestyling, nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hit me with that, uh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I'm star stroke, but ready, because again, I'm, I'm the kid from the. Satisfied. You know what I'm saying? That's why it sounds satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a jam. You listen to the song. Yeah. You really listening. We ain't not smoking. Uh huh. I'm gonna stay satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, already. We're in the zone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's going on. Square business. You know. Nah, back to what you were saying, really, real started on Echo Block, two streets off from Lincoln. Shout out to my partner, Quasi. Um, all people, my nigga, my nigga big, big House, my nigga Zoo White, you know what I'm saying? Two times, man. My nigga Big Paco, that boy Foot, 10-4, that boy Man, up there four dudes, just a lot of shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Soldiers. You know, I'm soldiers, man. Again, here yeah. I just said, like, it's like rap shit, but I'm going through it to get to it. Right, right, right. But when I get to it, I can't be on that 12 point spread, man. I can't be on it, man. I can't be at 16 by then, 18% by then, and these niggas, I couldn't do it, bro. Right, right. So you stayed, so you stayed in yes. the streets, and you let it go, you know what I'm saying? Now, when I don't stay in the streets, I just, I stayed doing my business. Right, that you I knew. stayed doing my talent that the paperwork said, artists. Right. But I ain't no damn fool. Right. So we gotta go do shows, get money, do features, and try to keep it together. Right. And every time you get a budget, learn to control that motherfucker so you get some money when that bitch close out. So it's okay, so you can't close out and your ass yeah. and been to twenty five hotel right. room, been studio twenty goddamn hours and got one goddamn song. Shit, you ain't dead. Shit, you ain't, so, ain't work out. I'm not in debt yet, cause back then it wasn't no upfront shit, cause nigga got this shit just for the record. Right. Whatever we can do when this bitch is over with, if there's something left, we gonna gut it, cap it down, and put it in our pocket. Mm -hmm. That's how it worked. But just generalize what nigga doing features and shit for back then. Like, that was for the love. PMC was for the love. I, I don't even wanna put on camera what this nigga chose me. Right. Cause nigga like, what? <laughs> like, for real? Like, but, like, I, like, I don't even wanna ask that question, but I do wanna know, it's like, 
Alright, man, because like that's why I say because your yo yo your resume is like it's, it's like long, this. man. It's long I'm because like and thinking and I shit. mean you got big hawk. Yeah, hawk was my nigga. Yeah. I mean like what 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 it was like working with big hawk like what is like cause like like sitting here with you right. I fuck with hawk like I fuck with you. That's one hundred. Nah, that's nah, that's one hundred. And y'all heard that on lit podcast, like, nigga. <laughs> like I fuck with you. You done beats for me and and production for me and. Like I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Hawk was a real nigga, still a real nigga, you feel me? But yeah, just the transition into trying to get to that point where okay, well now, okay, I can I can do something. That's what the uh, real to real was all about. Right. Finally connecting with some cats that was, you know what I'm saying, from my hood, uh, Quasi and Fats and uh, Blowfly. Shout out Blowfly. Which I got Blowfly from fucking around in COD. COD's getting some beat back then. Blowfly was Killer J. Yeah, he told me he gave him the name Killer J. Yeah. <laughs> he on the last PKO album, uh, No Pain, No Gain, on, on, on the song. The first intro to PKO, No Pain, No Gain. The last album of PKO before Nino dropped it, uh, last album. But uh, he was Blowfly Killer J back then. Made the nigga at COD high fuck with uh, Clint Black. Yeah, <laughs> Quinn Black, my grandma had the house right in front of the fur. Uh huh. Shout out Quinn Black. You, you know what I'm saying? That's how far we all go back, man. Like <coughs> all these niggas, I don't give a damn. You know, but the atmosphere that got changed for me is just trying to take it from the screech then and, and, and making sure we was on the radio. So that's what I say about how a nigga really got on when I is when I got on that radio. Right. So okay. You know, how did you get on the motherfucking radio? Because I know back then, K104 wasn't about hip hop. Now, for me, it was uh, smoking out and your mouth getting dry, right? And you're mm -hmm. wondering why you're getting so high. Nothing but the cotton mouth for being your sister. Remember all that? Mm -hmm. boom, you know boom, I do. Boom, boom, boom. So that, that what got on with no problem, right? Right. And uh, back then, they did a summer jam, and I did a performance of the summer jam back then when 100% cotton mouth was out. Mm -hmm. I'm hot, hot than a bitch. Man. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had you know, my shit on. So by the time I got to kill the cotton fields, you know, I'm young. I'm I'm not knowing nothing about the relationship, DJ, you my nigga. All I'd have been saying is rap a lot, terrible ass up, you don't play shit, nigga over here talking to this boy, play my shit, play my shit, play my shit, play my shit. <laughs> this <I> <laughs> Everywhere I go, this I'm witnessing. <laughs> well, uh, shout out to rap a lot, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, square business. Play my shit, play my shit, play my shit. Okay. I'm talking about everybody I done been around. Right. They represent they shit. Right. I'm on the streets representing my shit. I'm paying my dues. I'm good. I'm 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 I'm, I'm hot than a bitch. I'm really really. You know what I'm saying? Wanna want, want to just go and take it there. Yeah. What what's what's missing? What they wasn't doing before what, what I was doing, what what I do to anybody. And I mean Killer Cottonfield was jamming like a bitch, still jamming like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, well, we gotta go and make the news. Okay. Alright. Just straight up. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hit that too. <laughs> we on Echo and we on one. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Real story. We on Echo and we on one. Everybody cut their hair off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't never no, tell that story like this. Now tell the story, nigga. Like this one, though. Okay, like, all right. It's story, too, because I don't always <laughs> try to avoid this shit, but. All right. Yeah. Everybody cut their hair off, man. Okay. Okay. Real talk. I said, baby. <laughs> yeah. What you say? We ain't done a baby. <laughs> yeah. He didn't call me at work. Yeah. <laughs> it was time, bro. Okay. It's time to change some shit, man, here. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all was, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they wasn't supporting it, but they were supporting it because my big homie Bo Blunt was making sure they were supporting it. You feel me? Like, he was the guy that was the radio guy. He had pimps to the end. He had a lot of shit going on, too, but he was the main one, you know, making sure the nigga moved around and done what I put be doing. You feel what I'm saying? But he was making sure that shit getting, getting played here. He was a little bit more corporate. Okay. About it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a young nigga, and we on it. You know what I'm saying? And we feeling good, we from the hood, and you know these show money and verses and block look 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 block lunch money. 
And been able to go to Jumbo's every day and, and yeah. go to Wawa's every motherfucking day, feel good, you know. <laughs> long as you got it in there, you good, shit. You know, Big T on the sun, it was real, you know. Like, yeah. fuck when this bootleg ass shit doing? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, you laying, right? That nigga went bald. Everybody went, hey, man, went bald here, man. Okay. I kept going to the station on radio Monday. Okay. Yeah, talking to Skip, we good. Shout out to Skip, we good, my boy. What's up, Skip, man? Yeah, man. It, it, shout out to Skip. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But this is something that need to be that, ha that need to be done, though. I was impatient. Right. You know, you having that meeting back where you from? You, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm like. What does that matter? You know what I'm saying when I'm young, I say this, you know. You know, you know. My partner, Lil Jeff, what's up, Jeff? His uh, Ken folks with me from Milwaukee, and they had a sign on this cable before you say somebody, you know, what I'm saying community, whatever, whatever. And he took that bit, ripped that bitch down. It's not go to the stage had the window where they can see you. <laughs> yeah. Why is born on earth? They come out there, motherfucker. When they been cussing and doing, like, man, goddamn, we gonna play our shit, play our shit, nigga. Try to come up here, goddamn, we money talking about this bullshit, man. Play the song, man. We gonna say, woo. You know. What's the boy I mean, name? Ken Dow, that I don't care what for. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, older, older white man. Yeah. When the police come and got, got our bitch ass and got my bitch ass. What happened right outside, though? Ken Dow came out and said, hit the lot of his I understand what he's trying to do. This is a real story, bro. He said, I understand what he's trying to do. You, 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 you can let him go. This is a real story, man. Nah, he understood. He, he yes. under, like he really understood. Like shit, the nigga gave nigga what they uh a monopoly get out of jail free car. <laughs> That's for yeah. a business. But again, I'm trying to get the street content on a radio station that wasn't representing the locals. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We wasn't on no um uh, Pop slash RB clean cut. This is us talking about South Dallas. This is us talking about Oak Cliff. This is us talking about some street shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they, we from Dallas. And you're hearing us say South Dallas on this. And, you know what I'm saying? But to be hot, basically, off 100% cotton mouth and the Pimp C scenario, vibe, whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? Layout, out, roll out. You know what I'm saying? And then coming from being an artist to my first time having to handle my budget. With my nigga and them from the block, you feel what I'm saying? Right. And try to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Right. Just shit, you feel me? Nah, I feel you. Nah, because you you really open up doors where a lot of people don't understand and don't and take for granted. You know what I'm saying? Don't know how hard it really was to really get music on the radio or even get that market here in Dallas. Yeah. And you broke that wide the fuck open. Yeah, because again, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to, because we're in the club hollering South Dallas, when the club hollering Oak Cliff, when the club hollering West Dallas, when the club hollering East Dallas, when the club hollering Grove side, everywhere I'm going down, nigga for nigga, not just myself. This was a city thing, like niggas was representing, but we got to hear ourselves. Right. Niggas knew that. You know what I'm right. saying? I don't give a damn. It was niggas way before me talking the same shit. Right. Niggas just never just, hey man, basically got fucked up as a young nigga with your homies and we decided to goddamn be uh, ride and catch out right quick and we got to do this here and ain't no game about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, that's square business. And, 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 when the, and when the laws came, it was like some hip hop shit because, again, I hope this man named right, Lord. I don't think his name was Ken Daly. I don't think he's the owner or runner of K104. Man, might come out that motherfucker and goddamn me. So the law. Mm -hmm. I know what he's trying to do. I understand what he's trying to do. Let me know. Kiki J was probably an intern then. It's how, you know, we was young and wild. You know, like, uh, even the album cover, the cartoon cover, but bald head with everybody shaped on his hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he ain't, ain't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went egg, bro. Because I really wanted to know what was your meaning of just coming out, especially out the South. Like, that was just a real statement. Kill a cotton field. Yeah. But see, back then, uh, again, this was the days of pirate stations in the hood. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what's the name? Had the pirate station right across the street from Lincoln High School. So from McDermott Park all the way down, you could goddamn me hear this shit. You, like I said, this is the street shit of the Dallas shit that niggas don't know, don't talk about. 
You know what I'm saying? Cornbread had the power station on Forest Lane. You know what I'm saying? Back then. You know what I'm saying? You, if you had the fuck, you're going to hear every goddamn right. thing while you're going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know. The transition to Killer Cotton Fields came because again, on AG, when it got our money, or when it got my money, you know, a fucked up way, but you know, it was fucked up. Again, yeah, we went on AG. This was four the radio station, you know. Right. You know, right. Yeah, when the records got a busy. Yeah. Midwest, wait, okay, Midwest wasn't in Dallas, was it? Yeah, Midwest. That, that was one. That's the only one we had here, wasn't it? No, Midwest Records on Greenville, right across the street from Racetrack. Uh -huh. Race trap right now, nigga on Greenville and Farmers Line. Right. Midwest Records was right across the street from there. Okay. Jive RCA was on 635 and Abrams. <clears throat> Back then. Labels was here. The game was here. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Something. I remember they had AR, what was the A and R right there on, in West Dallas? A and R press and plant. Yeah. Uh -huh. They did they did vinyl. Right. That was our industrial boulevard. Right. So the industry side of Dallas back then. <coughs> Same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, what happened? Like what the like what really happened to it? Because like I was coming up in the era when it was still kind of alive. You know what I'm saying? Some of that's because I was going to A and R. I was going to uh, well, cl cl Crystal Clear. And yeah, but all again, that. the game was changing because again, that's when uh, CDs, cassettes, and CDs. Mm -hmm. You know, back then, nigga had just a 12 inch record, couple of things on vinyl. That's why I say shit that coming around. It's know? coming back around. Yeah. yeah, 360. You know what I'm saying? But like, uh, but uh. Getting back to what we talking about, the killer cotton man. Uh, the killer cotton was like me transitioning to all the way business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like business, and it's like I, I, I wasn't going through part two of shit, but I was still kind of going through part two, part two shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, my nigga 24 Kelly Branch, rest in peace. You know, time. you know he was he was my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like. To meet a nigga and don't and find a diary, y'all like a street oval. That's how me and him happen. Right. These niggas at one of my concerts in Lakeside, I'm opening up for Tila. I'm doing something I wasn't Tila, it was somebody else. And uh, James Price used to call us to get, you know what I'm saying, get boys right, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. some, you know, so who, it's like, again, it sounds like I can meet the same thing. Like, right. You know, they come in town, man, they boy wants to You know what I'm saying? We just uh, rappers, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? Back then, niggas moved differently, so it wasn't no going through the nigga hood and they went, woo, you know, we're comfortable and get to Dallas because Dallas is the same thing as Dallas is now. Right. You know, being the hood, you know, niggas started fucking with a nigga, man, made a nigga though. Oh, boy, I met Quasi and Fast and Man, his dad don't even fucking remember. I just remember the supporting niggas off the rip and fuck with these boys for like a couple of months before I really know you just fuck mm -hmm. with them for Yeah. And finally just fuck with a nigga and wake up that morning, boy, I say, hey, man, where you staying? I said, man, I'm in Holland Hills on Barnabas. Nigga said, nigga, I'm on Morningside. I said, bitch, you want street on? <laughs> I ain't nigga, right over. <laughs> right to the next motherfucking street, man. You feel me? Right. So that was my first time, uh, you know, connecting with somebody as a young nigga, and he from the streets, and I'm doing this rap shit. This is a real story. You know, 24K, Kevin Branch. You know, and, uh, this was the era where everybody started wanting to be Master P. Mm. It's time to get that record label. See, I see I'm where I'm going with you. Right. Doing? It's time to get this record label now. Okay, now I'm on Downside Hustlers. Right. Right? This my partner. You know, he going real deep with me. I'm gonna leave it alone. Right. Yeah. They forgot this story, man. Banana lack, nigga sitting on yellow, nigga. Cadillac, nigga. Nigga knocked on my door middle of the night, my nigga said, man, I'm tired of this shit. Am I lying, buddy? What year was that? That was, uh... Ooh, well, he committed suicide? No, he nah, got killed. But he got was, killed? Okay, all right. Saying, but a nigga trying to get out the game. Right, okay, he trying to get out the motherfucker. He trying game. to get out the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, my boy Quasi, he was dying. His uh his folks on the Pinkston Mortuary on Hatching, um, Burrow Street, right down the side. So we used to be in the back of the funeral home, dead bodies, man, doing music. Right. We did kill a cotton field down in the back of the funeral home. <sighs> Fucking with Quasi, you know what I'm saying? This, this is what we do before we go on Echo. We finna get in here and get the beats right, go on the block, you know what I'm saying? Fuck off, fuck off, fuck whatever, whatever. 
everybody doing their thing, but the, the transition of creating this shit, we was said in the back where Quay, Quay, Quay worked at the funeral home, and uh, you know what I'm saying, he, he was fucking with us, you know what I'm saying, just two of my partners are trying to see, see, you know what I'm saying, they see it, you know what I'm saying? Not square but I'm trying to like let them see it without talking about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like put it in the face. Yeah. Um, my partner Zoo White back then, he's fucking with it. And, uh, Zoo White used to rent the Grand Prix and he used to like this song off the uh, 100% called Who Ride. Mm -hmm. And I said, Roll in my Grand Prix, got my niggas with me. Who ride? Who had to come through the black car? I got you two Grand Prix, <laughs> baby. Where we going? I'm um, following Master P. On this uh, down south hustle little tour of mine, and uh, just seeing man, the shit got shit got real. And from all of that, come me a ticket as a white and niggas having things going on in their life, and they're trying to do this rap shit. And you know, we never had a plex or anything. And it's kind of like uh, again, I'm 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 moving. I'm on this rap shit. I'm 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 on this MC shit. I've been doing this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying. When I met you, everything good, they don't fuck me fucking around, but he's still, he still trying to get to it, do his thing, and survive and everything else, but he's going through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? He loves his mama, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit like this, mama, his mama had issues, whatever it might be, you know. We used to be in the hood sometimes, you know, just, just real people shit, you know, you see a family member that hurt your heart, you, you, you turn to slap, just turn to bitch, you really speak, just, yeah. you know? Yeah. He had a nigga knocked on my door, man, and said, man, I'm sick of this shit. What we need to do? And just by the time we get ready to do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit just started, you know, life shit, man. Started happening, you know. Shit get, get crazy. You know? Yeah, life was trip. Life was no, it wasn't yeah. never no to the point where it's like, okay, man, when Killer Cottonfield came out, it's like, okay, boys and Start doing other shit, everything. Cause we got blow fly, we go and blow. In my brain, then you know what I'm saying. Like we can blow shit together. My nigga, let my nigga do what he trying to do, right? He trying to put some money to the rap game, basically. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying. And the thing was same thing. I wasn't gonna be no uh, rapper or real, or real. You know what I'm saying. Let me show you what to do. You want to blow? Cool. You know what I'm saying. Come on, fuck with me. I woo. I'm gonna keep it out of things straight. Right. Love, yeah. Yeah. No departing from that and moving on from that shit is where the uh, Rally Boy shit come from. Same thing. Two niggas from, from my hood say nigga trying to start a group again. This is my game. Yeah. You know, so okay. Hey, something across Big Ben. <sighs> Man, rapping in the fucking bathroom somewhere. I take that back. Trey. Trey uh, sits around used to do shows at uh, the Spinal Thrift. Damn. Right. <laughs> nah, you good. I gotta get it up. That's, I gotta get it up every this, time. You know, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's like I say it, again. This is the trend. This is still the transition, and, and, and you know, what I'm saying, but I ain't, I ain't moving out of my pedestal. I'm not. I'm right. Not, I'm not. I can't do the twelve percent. I can't do right. the artist shit. I mean, I'm, I'm a CEO. I'm a rap I MC, but I can't. Sh I can't show you the game. Right. For free. You feel me? Mm -hmm. This is my game. Right. I can't come tell you how to cook up, how much to put in that bitch when you're doing it. Right. I can't tell you what to cut the alligator pitch with. <laughs> right. You right. feel me? I can't tell you how much fake ass drink to put together to burn boys. Right. Whatever you might be doing, ready game good or ready game solid. I can't come your block, your trap, and tell you a bitch ass thing about how to run your motherfucking trap or your cut, whatever you got going on. So don't come to me. And try to tell me how to run my motherfucking raps and everything I'm doing because I'm good. I got to do keep going this way. Mm -hmm. Right, you know your lane. Now I can come get to it and, and light a gang which and, and do some shit to keep my lights on and pay some pay some bills and look nice. And I'm not gonna. This is where I'm headed. You want to fuck with me and come down with me? Listen to me because you can see I know what the fuck I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. Understand me. You know what I'm saying? This is just like the game you're doing. It's the same shit. Right. I can't sign a contract with you, my nigga. This is my game. 
I can't do the twelve percent. I can't do the fifteen percent. I can't do the artist shit. I can't do the rapper shit. I'm a boss, my nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm with this shit, brother. I'm right with my, I'm going, I'm, 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 I hustle with this shit. Right. We're gonna flip the shit like you flip the shit, you. Right. Yeah. Right. Shit. Get my shit off top, nigga. I'm finna set it. Yeah. Up, so it's <laughs> like when you come up in the game, where you always seen the rappers on their shit. You know, I never like to see when I met Scarface. That nigga, when I met Zero, nigga, when I met Pimp C, nigga, so I know, okay, they might rap, they gonna rap and talk their ass off. Nigga playing notes and every goddamn thing, got a sip and drinking, whatever the fuck nigga doing, and dipping in whatever they might be doing, nigga, but these niggas is talented. Right. I'm talented too. You feel me? Right. But the same thing, my business brain, was I already? Yeah, you were already up, yeah. You get with room. So when I meet the Hawks and the, the you know, the people I done met and this shit, man, I'm already going, I'm going around, I met, I met Severus Wholesale by my goddamn self. This is how I became Cottonmouth Jesse. Because when I'm soliciting the product, it was Jesse. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Square business. So we're talking about Cottonmouth, yeah. Well, who was Jesse? And the boy said, Cottonmouth Jesse. That bitch stuck. <laughs> that was a, there we go, right there. That was another, there we go, another twist. Again. <laughs> you feel me? Let me right. goddamn me, goddamn me. What did he just say? Yeah, transition. But my brain was like, here go the sun, like right there. Because right. back then, which you know, you solicited product off of one sheet, and you know what I'm saying, and ain't no knock to nobody ever will fuck with. It's like people always say, "Wait, well, hey, man, what's up with the radish shit?" Woo, woo. Hey, man. I just told you what it is. If you people, if you listen, just listen to the story. It's, it's a real show on you down who it is out of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I love my nigga Ski Fees. I love my Jeff no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I love Rather D. I love Jizz No. I love Big Ben, but the same thing. When this man on my arm got killed, ain't nine nigga. They say R.P. Trey, right? Mm -hmm. Could nine nigga. Getting between that. Right. Because I know that's what he wants. Right. But never having five minutes to tell a nigga this shit because they weren't paying attention. Right. You can go do what the fuck you want to go do, man. I'm going right here to rap, this to a beat. And yeah, nigga might want this. I can make me what back then. You know, you want to make a quarter or something. For you yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, he want to. All right, yeah, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I sit you down, we make six figures, man. Look at me and, and, and salute that and let's keep proceeding on. I just showed you I know what the fuck I'm doing. Right. I'm not gonna even go through details of the life of my story with this rap shit. Just tell you where it is when niggas say, yeah, kind of you rat about shit, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. And there's no diss to nobody, I just I'm high right now, I'm feeling good, but I'm gonna tell the truth, kind of devil, you know what I'm saying? But love them. Right, love right. everybody, nigga, right. because I come from that. Right. So when you get to the point where niggas want to be Master P, is what I'm telling you. Right. The Master P era. Right, right, right. I okay. understand. You feel mm -hmm. me? But niggas misconcept that they forgot about EZ. Right. See, nigga misconfused that. Mm -hmm. Master P, man, nigga, I'm a, I'm a fucking CEO on the rap too. Well, goddamn it, Easy did too. Mm -hmm. And I'm a young nigga that hip hop shit and, and, and funky fresh. Easy new kid on the block. I already got a fact on my goddamn job with my goddamn jam. He can't rap with the shit, but I see Eric Wright on my goddamn wax, and I'm skipping school, going to go try to do this shit. Right. And then find out oh, Eric Wright is Easy. Yeah. You ever notice now when uh? The day one rappers come out, they say their real names and shit now. Yeah. They don't say MC name, they'll say, uh, like Bon B on, on the brushes the other night. That boy, that boy Scree say, uh, said the boy whole name, Bernard some shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You know. Bernard Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know, we have me some curses, man, shit, you know. I got, I got some story to tell you, man. Cause like I say, I can talk all day. You can yeah, sit, you man. Because you, like, you sitting there, and I'm just sitting talking, 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 man. Like, the Rattle Boy shit, I'm, I'm going to get off my nose and just curse man. Because the Rattle Boy shit is something I want to get off my chest. Because people ask me this shit all the time. Right, like, right. I ain't no disrespect to right. nobody. Right. I love every last one of them, especially my nigga Ski missing the death. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, homie, if I 
Show you I'm good at something. And it's my game. You feel me? You're supposed to respect that, man. You're supposed to respect that. I can't come tell you how to load up in logistics, how it's going to get that, man. I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. No. I didn't have no saying no. So I can't tell you that. Right. I can't say use a goddamn bus instead of using the fucking uh beater book. I can't tell you that on your side so you can't come tell me on my side. I'm respect your lane, respect my lane, all right? Differences. But am yeah. I right? Right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Right? right. I, I can't yeah. I can't but if I if I bring you over here and you help me with something and you do something I never done before as a, as an independent company and we go translate this into some dollars and you invested your money, you see your money coming back plus something. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. And I'm still sitting here like I'm, you know, uh, I ain't gonna even say teaching, I'm gonna say showing from the kind of stuff my heart and being genuine about what I know, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to not, but not being a greedy ass nigga. Right, 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 right. You know. But I can't hold your hand, I can't, I can't, I can't, ooh, 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 I can't just keep. You know, I know what you mean. You Everybody know. wanna be gangster but being a gentleman is a motherfucker. <laughs> Why you say the math fool? Come on man, and then, you know what I'm saying? But this this supposed to be your friends and your partners and hey man, we gonna eat, let's eat, but let's not start eating and all of a sudden cause nigga watch too many master peas and sugar night moments that nigga forget that I'm a man too. But I've been doing this hill so you ain't finna come over here and I'm not okay back then be like I would say it like this hill. When I met scary rappers. And you start fucking with these people that try to sell deep boys and street niggas, and you're a rap nigga, but nigga, I'm not no scary rap nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, that's why I feel you 100%. And I'm just telling you how it go, but I'm saying transition from like, nigga, I, treated my, I treat my rap game and have treated my rap game like it's the sweet game. I'm talking this sweet shit. Right. So I ain't nothing scared to put myself out there. I sell whatever right in your face, nigga, like CD, whatever, I, you know what I'm saying? But the right. hustle from anybody that know me, I'm going to catch me. Hey, man, I got my whoop. But put it in their face. Rather than by myself, brother, you know what I'm saying? This at the same time I'm I'm that phone soliciting mm -hmm. worldwide Texas. Right. You know? <coughs> with that rally boy, you you like you kind of, you really expanded with that rally boys too though at that time the era. Because you gotta realize too, you had man, Roger Zap, I don't even know how you well, again, but, you know again, but this is me again. Hear me clearly. This right. is the, this is the homie saying, uh, "Who you want?" Right. Or this what they might be wanting. Man, that's a good idea. God damn it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The better boy album was like, okay, we got something. Same thing. We gonna go do hot boys on the day. We gonna do young league day. You know what I'm saying? This was like having fun every goddamn thing. Yeah. Man, but I'm, but I'm still, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm still sitting there, the pink and the brain. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pink and the brain. Mm -hmm. Feel? Right. No pink and the brain. Yeah, no pink. Got down right. right now. Just, just <laughs> pink and yeah. the brain. <laughs> what are we doing today? One had the money. One had the knowledge. The right. Brain, right. Uh huh. Okay. So the same. You know what I'm saying? All this shit jumping off, and I'm sitting there doing my MC shit. What they call being a rapper, but I'm not sitting there. Not that nigga know, I can't sign that. Right. Right. This is being straight up. Oh, Cliff Master P, I can't sign that. Right. I ain't gonna say a nigga name and love him, damn me tell you. Master P, my, hey man, I can't do that. Right. Easy. I can't do that, shoe. Yeah. I can't do that, my nigga. I can't do that. Right. Quincy John. Right. Whatever you wanna call you, whatever, whatever mentality a nigga had, whatever, I ain't no deal. I'm just telling how, I don't wanna say, I'm just telling the young niggas how this shit go. Right. For niggas out here with this shit for real. Right. I'm out here with, I've been right here with this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my first opportunity doing, doing something I wanted to do for a long time. Now, but let a nigga say, man, let's do a song with Woo. And watch a nigga with McDonald's bag full of money pay for a verse. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. when, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the same thing. Being able to be the power forward, shooting guard type shit, you know? If I wasn't ready to perform my talent, the rather boy, I wouldn't have been in my shit. Same thing, I went to the booth like this. Me and little Wayne, me, me, baby, little Wayne, and Joe, like this, man, and fresh. We all on one mic, you know what I'm saying? Young Bleed, 3 o'clock in the morning. This is. 
you was the first out the city too. Like that's that's another thing I just want to talk man, about. It, 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 man, the feature game all that man. The feature game, that's what I'm saying. The feature game, you was like you branded that to the max. And I think a lot of people don't really understand that. You brought so all the hottest talent. Yeah. What was your what what what, what really what was your vision? Like, what was your vision then, Cotton Mouth? Because I know you always had a vision, and then what was really my your vision? My vision was playing my part. My right. vision was my vision was 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 the uh, CEO with the gold star. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be Jay Z. I know what the goal is. Right. I'm not Jay Z. I'm Cotton Mouth Jesse, but my mind state is Jay Z. My mind. Anybody know me? Which they don't be able to tell you. My not my mind. I'm Jay Z. My mind state. They want as a kid. Is I'm trying to get right here. Right. And when this nigga died, that then they got bigger and bigger, bigger. So coming through this shit and fucking with nigga, rather I'm on some club shit or rather I'm in the streets, I'm not here to be pumped or I'm call a rapper nigga from get it like this is like no I wasn't that cat but just uh, that era that was going around then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas signed contracts for all kind of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Just giving up shit. They, you know what I'm saying? Like everything I was creating. And I was wondering where everybody was going because, like, we was having so many people coming in, but that, at that time, everybody was getting signed. Everybody, Blake, Big Lurch. Uh, yeah, but every, people, but he, people getting signed and, and fucking out their budgets and, and not knowing you won't be around next year. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. So uh, again, if if I'm trying to sell thirty thousand four times a year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is the era when before they came in, so okay, let's stop that shit and put this shit up for a penny. Okay? That's uh the nigga behind him, let's lock his motherfucking ass up and let's stop this shit over here. Mm hmm Right? Right. Story after story after story, story. Right, the infiltrate. Okay, so again, I'm still sitting here as the MC, the artist, but I'm a businessman with this shit. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? It's for a business. And I can't tell you. Mm -hmm. What to do with your shit? So when you get fucked off, <laughs> don't be coming back, Johnny. <laughs> Cause all you had to do was <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> what the fuck? I was telling you. Goddamn, telling you, man. <laughs> Square motherfucking business. Square motherfucking business, man. man. Like love, you, love, look. I mean, love no dick, like man. I mean, from my heart, bro. It's like. I, I, I get sometimes be like, damn, I got my nigga say, woo, woo, woo. Say, man, yeah, if a nigga had the dough and we man, was in, if a nigga had the dough and we was on that mat right there, mm -hmm. all we had to do was just, just sit back and just remember how it's like, okay, when you come to somebody for something, and you know, you go orientated, you're good people, you feel what I'm saying? Nobody no fraud that nigga, no hoe that nigga, none no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know? But you, y'all would. Flavor TV, advertisement. Again, hear what I'm saying to you, but this is, but this is me like, like, damn, I done missed some boys that's about this shit. Right. And, you, and like, you put, you put full throttle. Like, no, I'm putting full throttle down when they putting full throttle down. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like, okay, <laughs> if, I, if, if, I, if a transmission don't run without girls, that bitch ain't going nowhere. Ain't going the motherfucking world. You feel me? I'm gonna fuck what you do. So by the time this bitch getting dry, goddamn it, I'm. Driving on this mic, I'm driving on this phone, I'm driving on this solicitation through the going through this goddamn fax machine, selling this shit for we put it on the floor. One more time, man. You feel me? Man, if you can go back in time, man, what would you do different or what would you change? What would I change? What you mean? What, what? Like from things that you don't learn along your journey. Man, oh. Uh, Up front with the nigga shit, like let's not even do the nigga shit. Like anybody ever run across like before I did business with him up front, hey man, let's not do no nigga shit. Let's get understood, <laughs> right? Right now, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, let's not do no nigga shit. Right. And we're gonna be straight. Stay out of stay, stay 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 in binds, not out of binds. Run the right play, no holding, no clipping. You know what I'm saying? Set the rules straight. We gonna. Touchdown, baby. Everything on the table. Hey, man. Pay action. <laughs> We're going deep. You know what I'm saying? Square business. That's what I would change for anybody that would fuck with on business, man.
But nah. been in suggestion life period. Right. Hey man, let's not intend to do no nigga shit. Like let's get the nigga shit out the way. So we can try to change our lives and because nigga shit is what fuck up everything, bro. You feel me? And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm just telling uh, Nah, you know, it's real shit. That's so real when, shit. So when the game came from a nigga <laughs> trying to get as a kid and seeing the raise up there and seeing niggas that's same age as you, look bigger, older than you, everybody want to be this and everybody, if we're from okay, I want to be the rapper. Okay, now I want to be the CEO. Now I want to be. But I'm 16, I already, like, nigga, I don't want to do nothing but me. And then, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Not being of nobody. Showing love, letting nigga do them, whatever it might be. But when you do quarterback or you the engineer of this shit or the coordinator of what the business is and you know the connection where to go and who to talk to and you the one talking and people say well, damn you know but it, it felt good to have cats that was real promoters mm -hmm. you know they got fucked up they still had one feet in the game where you know six trade red was a promoting motherfucker you know everybody did their part and they had connection all kind of shit, you know. My nigga Jizz no, Jizz no, you know what I'm saying? But Jizz no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jizz no. <laughs> yeah, prominent, yeah. Prominent family name, you know what I mean? Clear, yeah. old clear side, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say nigga name, Red D, you know what I'm saying? Real nigga. And he got fucked out, man, and, you know, he was doing business. You know what I mean? Get this 24 type. Feel you, me and Ski, yeah, I fuck Ski, I'm like, my nigga, yeah, I get that nigga the world, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, really? Now, but, okay, now. Who, who I'm do you? I'm talking about like I ain't seen nigga in, in a minute, but. Nah, I know, but that's know, this, like, that, like, that's home, like, damn near. It be like, uh, if a nigga want to know some real shit, like I said, man, this, this business is just where it's at now, when they get Rico cases and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Over and over again with myself, people that's tried to come fuck with me, and I know they out there like that. That I'm trying to, you know, but I can't. Hey man, don't. Right. Not today, man. Right. I can't do that. You got to get your, got to get mine. You know what I'm saying? That was real, but I'm ain't thinking that, thinking that damn. But that's just how I ride. You know what right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm not even going. I'm not no guy. Hey man, don't do that. Nah, my nigga. I mean, thinking about what the fuck you got going on. I'm too big over here trying to. Right. In your lane. You know what I'm saying? In your lane. Right. Understood, overstood. <laughs> so, you know, I feel bad about it. Like, nigga, nigga ain't had not one conversation to say, man, man, let's all, uh, no, I ain't want to at this point. Cause I went on, I kept it. Right. Because all I believed in is uh, respect the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect the game. If you, if you, the point guard, is three seconds left and I got 15 assists, you got 45 points, you get the ball. You better give me the bottom. And cuff my bitch ass out with the lock room. I try to make the shot and I've been 15 assists and you got 45 points. Cuff my bitch ass out and say, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I've been 40 a night. You gonna give me, you know what I'm saying? Give me the bottom, my nigga. Fake the game. For real. You know, so I, I, when you go through all that as an artist, because you just try to respect people's interests and their ability to be artistic or their ability to. Really come in here and do this rap shit and look a nigga in his face and tell niggas some real pain and rap to him, but your brain is on how much this cost multiply this time. But you still rapping, but if your brain on, ain't on that, don't even fuck with the game. Right. If you come to this bitch to get 12 points of everything you make, you're a dummy. Man. On 360. No. I'm just telling you how it is now. Yeah, I know. And I'll be like, hell to the nah, nah, nah. They got some, they got some good, good things going on, I'm saying, but there's no more independent game. We got our barcode marking our goods outside of uh, vinyl. Right. And that's coming back. That's, no, it's that, already been back. I mean, it's been back, but it's, it's making a real big yeah. comeback, though. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be good for a lot of y'all if y'all want that's on game. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But I, you know, my era, man, I, I done been through all this shit, man. It's not right. like I've been... Uh, no gatekeeper, but I, I've been I've been the game the game giver. Right. And mm -hmm. I ran around that bitch. I don't give a damn. Nah, I ain't never heard that. Like, okay, I like you know, that the game giver. The game giver, man. Yeah. I ain't never been no high post nigga, up nose nigga. Right. I ain't never been nothing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but niggas that didn't fuck with me, no real quick. Hey man, nigga, 
like that, that empty, that nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Wholesaling, retailing, and, and getting still getting up out of there. I'll let man. Okay, I'm back. You know what I'm talking about? Dive back in there. So what we what we leave off at? Oh, I'm talking about niggas that get in the game and just want to be artists. Right. And me as a young cat, knowing uh, being young, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to be on no, no artist label, no artist level with no. You know, pennies on the dollar for my music. Right, right. Um, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, but being young and already knowing that, and you know, even having family members even peep that in me. Right. Cause uh, you know, it's like you know when they come up back then, you know, you pressed up a cassette, you thought you really own. So you know, you press up on cassette and trying to do your shit at school and at the games and. You know what I'm saying? The race tracks and at the parks and shit. You don't know how you guys got down the set, but you're getting the bitches out. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. <coughs> it's just like being a kid again. And we don't know shit about the other side of town or you know, that shit. We just right here where we see and we, you know, they, they jamming over here, they jamming over here. But, you know, at the same time being young and having equipment, you know. Somebody want to do something, we got a turntable, we got speakers, you know. School want to do something, we got speakers, you know. We got a DJ, we're going to go skip school and smoke, we can listen to Dexter all goddamn day. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to part of Dexter day one. I go to Stone Crib all day long and fuck with beat machines and fuck off and try to get back to football and practice, basketball practice. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's that. Just that you heard what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, 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 that's rap hip hop. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They call it rap shit, but if I'm a kid, it was called hip hop. Like, okay, man, we trying to be cool modes around this bitch, you know? Right, right. These boys got them representing their shit. Right. Then you start collecting that vinyl as a young nigga, start hearing about cats in other places, you know? Skinny boys, the steady bees, and all these people, you know, you underground, they're like, okay, who are these niggas? And you just sampling their beats, and mm -hmm. you ain't never seen niggas on BET or Music Box, but you got that shit right here, and that shit jamming. It's like day one shit for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I come through this shit without having to understand, like, hey, man, I can't be just a rapper. I'm like, no, what's the business? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But coming up coming up under people that was already in the business. So you can't look, you can't come in there and say, hey, man, boy, been fuck with Ron, so you know, ooh, ooh, he's a dummy. You got your goddamn mind. Like, no, nigga, I'm right here at UGK as a kid, you know, Yellow House. Nigga, I'm right here. I'm. You know, very first I fuck with Houston was D. Rick. You know, same thing. You know, I, I was gonna do a project on Rick Shop. I'm in a uh, uh, third, uh, third, what's called third, third two. Yeah, yeah, third, third. You know, I have those. You know what I'm saying? All that man got a hawk tattooed on my shoulder right here. Like hip hop shit with a cassette tape, man. Like you know, just to transition the whole run. Right. Twisted black stuff. Shit. That free twist of black, man. All that, man, like, you know. I, mean, I, I go on and on, bro. The Pinheads, the PKO, and that and was from Eastwood, you know. The little Kiki's, the, the Big Mo, when he was on OST, you know, Chris mm -hmm. Wars, and my nigga Ron C. I still fuck with Ron C to this day. I, feel, I still fuck with everybody to this day. They ain't never love and respect everybody. Right, right. Met a lot of them boys, same thing. Right. I, I, I met, I met South Park Mexican. At Southwest Wholesale, I met C No House Southwest Wholesale. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. The first person I fucked with was Houston was D Rick. You know, so it's not really connect from there. But people got to understand again the same thing you talk about now. All the bullshit hating and all the bullshit talking down and going through shit and just going through shit. Okay, was I going through shit? Yeah, yeah, boys getting goddamn me disappearing. Right. Right? And right. boys catching cases and people getting, you know what I'm saying, doing all kind of crazy ass shit. And I'm trying to. Right spot, go straight, you know what I'm saying? I can give you a gang of stories and I'm still trying to. Right. Right. Stay focused. You know what I'm saying? So, you're going through all this shit, you know, okay, well, goddamn it, uh, I got to go, you know what I'm saying? We're just getting blessed as soon as I got to where I was going and the people peeped the solicitation. And the business and the presentation and every goddamn thing else and what the pre-order was should have changed nigga life. So 
something different. <laughs> I'm just okay, well, goddammit. The pre-order alone is independent for the change nigga life. Right. I got there. And when the folks, people I got there, they called me right back to do one by myself. Cotton candy. You know? So I'm there. Yeah, you there. Cotton candy. Yeah, there so here what I say again. Now, this this is the first time daddy daddy got what to do? I was saying, well, I was counting my first guy here mm -hmm. on a Sunday. And he like, okay. Woo. And that motherfucker was hot. That kind of candy was hot. But, you know, <laughs> kind of candy has a jam on it. I got the pimp seat back on now. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, the PKO game, you know, the. The, the Houston gang stuff was wholesale, uh, screwed up click affiliation, switch house affiliation, all that affiliation, man, wreck shop affiliation, you know, every affiliation I've been fucking with, uh, you know, K. Reno, them, everybody I, I run across, Archers, everybody down there, man, my nigga Archer Lee, my nigga Brotherwood, everybody, man, like, I ain't come from K. Reno. Man, K. Reno is like the same thing. You're in Houston with a rap band. They're going to yeah. come up and. Right, right. I have been to all of that. Square business, square you know, business, square business. You know, back then you had your rap bands. Right. So people pull up and, you know, let that motherfucker down. And it's the nigga driving the bitch. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, but, you know, from what I, what I remember though, from what I even started on that, you know, niggas started into the retail game from that same note. I got my own shit. I got DSR shit. I got. This is when progressing tear down do nothing. You know? Then my mate Ozone magazine was selling all Dallas shit out of my van. See? I remember Ozone. Now hear me again saying so yeah. if I take my own shit out and put it together for the first time and I finally ah say I'm on the motherfucking night pickup time. Oh god damn. What happened? What 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 what? You know, we ain't we ain't ready, we ain't organized, we ain't you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing the nigga shit, nigga shit, nigga shit, nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? All kind of dumb shit going on. And so you don't get a chance to do the business. So, hey man, we got opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So you go from that and then you start doing your own shit. I didn't stop. I'm, I'm at the Cotton Candy now. I'm, I'm four albums in at the Cotton Candy. Now. I did phew, worldwide Texas. I, you know what I'm saying? And I'm. Not even tripping, but I'm, I'm I'm appreciating, you know what I'm saying? What I done been through at the same time, like I ain't having no regrets either. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I ain't trying to go back, but let's go forward. Right, right, right. So I keep it going, cause now I'm in with the wholesaler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you already know. Shit. So it, like people can't see you being sold through Youngster Records or being sold through uh, Snake Productions, and they see you as an artist, and you're a young nigga, and your name on the people shit wrote by mm -hmm. M. Jesse. You find it's okay, this kind of out. Okay, that's M. Jesse. Right? This whole time I've been an artist, now I'm in here letting motherfuckers know what this what this pre order gonna look like and what these upfront prices is and everything else as a young nigga. And got to where I need to be and got my game blessed and shit, nigga. I ain't gonna look back since. I ain't gonna look back. Cause I don't, I don't it'd be like where we at now with the game be like, nigga, if a nigga still had the same thing that we have, these young niggas would really be more in tune with what the fuck they need to change. Right. Because they have good to take care of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You have right. something to put your money into. That's a good. You know, niggas ain't tripping on their own shirts when they should be. Right. Just be real shit, right? Right. That's something like that. That's, that's a CD, that's a cassette tape, that's whatever it might be. Right. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. just, it's the good. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But the good is making sure this is a good. Right, because if this was a born good, it's a product. Mm -hmm. A product is what? It's good. It's, it's made up, right? It. It's gonna be, and it's gonna but it's made up, right? Right, it's made up, right? Now, look at what I'm talking to you right now. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. MC. Okay. Okay. MC. And they said my MC shit. I'm an okay. MC, <laughs> not a rapper. Okay, the game is good, right? Right. Product, I'm going product. This is my product. I made my product up, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I pressed this bitch up, it's on plastic, got a bar course of product, it's made up. So I can't catch no case, bitch, and you tell me what I said on song five, finna give me 50 life. Right. That's where we're at now. Right. Cause we ain't got no goddamn product. 
that holds a barcode that says this is good. Right. I sold it to you, Mike. This made up. Mm -hmm. How the fuck can I get 50 life and Rico K okay from what I said on song number four when we got them to come from the trip club and this out of goddamn mind? Right. It fucks me up. So again, you talking to a nigga and seeing the, the real MC, the real business niggas, the real underground king niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The same D-boy niggas, pimp niggas, whatever they want to call itself, throughout the years, they start fucking them out through the rap game. Master Pierre, fucking them out yeah. through the rap game. I watched them out. Now we go from the CEO, goddammit. We're going to go from the CEO. We're going to take the rapper, everybody affiliated with his motherfucking ass, and the CEO. Here? We're going to take them down too, yeah. Ain't that where we're at with it now? Yeah. So when you see, you know what I'm saying, what kind of mouth going with it, that's where I come from with it. It's like that. Like, I see this shit like, hey man, stay on top of your game and what you can do is get out there with it. Mm -hmm. No matter what level you're on, get out there with it because you're going to eat, you're going to eat. Mm -hmm. Have no faith to just stay focused and, and try it. You know what I'm saying? I know what everybody's saying. And some people can't do that. Some people get caught up with the sideline shit. We can't we can't really just celebrate to have something to celebrate. Man. You feel me? When you're building something, because we do it one time, just act like we've been here. That's what I said about the city alone. You know what I'm saying? On that note. But everything that's happened in the game is like, we just had our first two murders of Dallas rappers that have been here, history here. And it's like, for me to see that shit, be around, even hear this shit, it's kind of like I said before, it's like seeing the game. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had beef with me, we met the same club, and y'all performed, we performed, and smoked some weed, and got out here known big time, you in the streets with this shit, and y'all nigga doing this, you know, beef with each other. Like, nigga, we gonna be building, and having product. So they can't say, look, Elmo and them, on song 10, said they did the whole goddamn block. They said it on the goddamn song. Hey man, this is good. This is a product. This is a good. You made this shit up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't say my real life for 1099. I can't say my real life nigga for three cents three cents of a penny every goddamn minute and get twenty-five fucking life in a Rico case behind this shit. Mm -hmm. Million dollar bonds and everything. Hey man, that, that make that <laughs> make no <laughs> bonds. Sorry, man. Yeah. Not to get out of no yeah, man. Nah, but it ain't worth it. Nah, it ain't worth it. I'm saying yeah. from a local from a local standpoint of Dallas, nigga, it's the same shit. Is what I'm right. trying to tell you. I'm, right. you know, I'm a ratty boy, nigga, for life. But nigga, I was a big power fan because I know how he was coming. Mm -hmm. I was a bow leg fan because I know how he was coming. Now my mouth, my shit, let me know because right. I know all these niggas is just like me when they come down to where the fuck they want to get with this music shit. Right, right. You gonna hear it? Hey, ox, am I lying? Nah. Nah, I'm a witness. <laughs> like the motherfucker they want it, they finna go get it. And they gonna hear you gonna be in that so, way. When I had, you know, when I got people around me that don't understand, you know, like man, I done seen the strong. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is trying to do something with they selling you see the game that's trying to get involved in change your life. Like I say, man, I'm a young kid, I'm getting five hundred dollars a verse, nigga. This is this is publication when Dallas had sheep food, sheep food. Mm -hmm. Go get his album, man. I'm a kid. My name on that bit, Robot. Yeah, man. So to come in the game and see this shit come from, you know what I'm saying? Everybody getting ate up. Everybody getting ate up. Yeah, everybody getting ate up. And I'm still sitting here with, you know what I'm saying, doing my shit, doing me, and seeing like, damn, my nigga, they, they didn't got to the point where they don't just get everybody. So the independent conversation, the independent vibe, the independent lingo that people put in the streets worldwide are gonna be steady getting fucked out. Cause niggas like, hey man, what the fuck we doing? We, we ain't got nothing to say, say man, this isn't, if, okay, we from the era, you, you, you jam Gangsta Nip? For what? Come on. Alright, well just imagine a nigga get a case and nigga play Gangsta Nip song on the phone in this era. They gonna say it's is he is he 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 must be crazy right right mm -hmm. it's mental health we put him upstairs 
Nah, it was there. I'm just saying, back then. <laughs> yeah, uh huh, yeah. You now you got these young niggas with the drill shit, and, and they can catch a case from song number three and go to court, and uh, you hear this shit, like, man, this shit is ridiculous. Shit, they had niggas for uh, uh, not just Gangsta Nip, what about uh, Brother Lynch? I know that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it'd be like, you tell a young nigga these, I'll tell a young nigga quick, say, man, you gonna, you know, somebody gotta, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta use your brain, man. Right. You know? I wouldn't give a damn. Back then, niggas said, man, I had a hundred goddamn kilos of niggas spice one, eight thousand niggas, eight thousand niggas killed before song seven. You hear me? And niggas come through this shit, man. So when it comes down to Dallas, it's like the same shit. Everybody in Dallas that done damn near did something or have done something, especially the cats who just had the same mind frame as me, has got fucked off. Right. Nah, and, 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 I, and I don't witness that and I okay, don't talk but, about it. But did they not do their own shows? Yeah. I do my own shows. Mm -hmm. I did my own show. I kind of shut that. They all, did they sell their own shit? Yeah. Could you catch them somewhere with a pan full of motherfuckers doing what the fuck they do? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm not even tripping because I didn't make all of them and niggas see, hey man, I'm not I'm saying I'm the same note, man. And, and, and 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 was and was still down and still down to make boys understand. Be like, we can talk all day about who didn't did so, who ain't did so, and, and and hopefully one day everybody that's the maneuvers and shakers, whatever it might be, you know. Like I missed that core shit, but I didn't really know what it was about, you know. Have some type of synergy, mm -hmm. so we don't have no more mo threes and and all kind of just you know shit going on and, and, and people like C schools just. You know, you just, man, boy, see you know what I'm saying, like, man. it's like Go a new day and era. My, when, I, when I'm coming up, even them things like that, you wouldn't even be thinking like, hey, man, nigga finna get murk right going to get a, so in the shit, you know, a concert, nigga might, you know, get into it, you know, you see niggas fight, nigga right. talk shit, whatever right. it might be, you know, but you not thinking nigga gonna get on the side where they say he killed nigga around the corner and really did it. And then, you know, catch a case for it. It just takes away from the business aspect of a young man trying to enter into this, this this music game. But not you know. But you understand know what I'm saying? Like, but, you, but you know how you you manifest that, and you you know how it, like especially in your rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You talked about that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You talked about that a million times. You seen it like you know. A lot of people don't know like. We know things always will occur. Everything ain't new underneath yeah. the goddamn sun. But yeah. it's just crazy how like. How you already predicted it in our city, you know what I'm saying? At yeah. one point in time, how this was coming, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And that and that just it's just crazy. Yeah. Like, what can what is the city missing? What does the city need to really just? Cause I know we can't take everybody. We can't save everybody. You know what I'm saying? But what is it that the city needs to really just kind of glue it back together? The city is already glued together. Yeah. This ain't no separation. This ain't no. Right. It's like, cause like when I get out, I see everybody. Exactly, but uh, again, <laughs> so I don't like, know the misconception. You know, exactly, the misconception comes from those who don't who don't have what what I've been having for Dallas. I'm I'm Dallas, nigga. I'm, I'm gonna represent my city. Nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? And those who act like they might represent the city be the ones who all oh, man patting and shit and how oh, man niggas ain't. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta pay attention to this shit cause they can front all that night, man. Yeah, we repping this shit, but I ain't repping this shit for like three, four days, and all man, once you cool, nobody was fucking with us. Right. You know? And cats will get on, and you know, your social media going good for you, whatever it might be, man. You know, and start thinking some shit, but you ain't really getting out there, you know, trying to see what it really is, but you represent something, believe in it. Right. And I know what you mean you by believe in it, cause you come out here and you give game. Yeah, like, believe in it, cause if you're gonna, you can't come out and say, okay, well, even today, just recognize this also, uh, representing where you're from and being locally about it is being locally about it. Right. You know, but your skill set is, is what's going to take you where you need to be. Right. A special skill set as a businessman. A special skill set as, 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 as letting people see that you're authentic with, you, with what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Right. 
But with, okay, that trio. Cause I see you got your trio shirt on, yeah. and I know, like I say, you always give a game. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you at, and you always around. Like that's why I say it's like a big misconception. Cause I always see everybody moving somewhere or somebody it's coming out thing. supporting. Yeah, right. Exactly. And I remember we were just sitting out the other week, and we was talking. You were talking about the men of the trio. You know what I'm saying? Like how you know people don't know what what it really stands for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you were saying like you know. You know, Pimp C, you know what I'm saying, he a musician, you know what I'm saying, he, he played that, that trumpet, you know what I'm saying, like, do you think, what, I, what I'm getting at is like, do you think our city really need to know where they come from, you know what I'm saying, because sometimes, in, you this know, day that area, that in, in this day and area, it's not important, because uh -huh. the people who did that, like myself, did that for you to have to. Right, right, okay, okay. God damn it, that's, that's the truth. Right, right, right. Anything you do, God damn it. Kareem did certain things, so Kobe had to go through it. Jordan went through certain shit, so the Ryan got to go through it. Right? Right. It's the same thing. That's how it be understood. Right. You, you can come here and you know where you're at. Well, what's the thing you learned? You see what I'm saying? You know where you're at, and everybody got to tell you right. how they get out of here, or mm -hmm. whatever it might be. Right. You know, coming up young, when you see everybody representing their shit, it's the same rotation. Of everybody want to be representing their shit everywhere right. you went. You know what I'm saying? And you want that too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody had their plan of, hey man, this is the town. You know what I'm saying? Side down, so whatever it might be. You know what I'm saying? Oak Cliff, whatever it is. Everybody wanted to represent their shit, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now in this day and area, the youngsters don't have to worry about that too much. Because everybody knows that's, that's been done. Right. So we can bypass that. Right. Cause everybody, if you this to a nigga shit, he gonna he gonna give some reply about where you from, what click he with, and you know, you got young kids do it. They gonna okay, well, you know, I get the game all the time. What that mean? Okay, he woo for my kid, you know, mm -hmm. my, my younger daughter. What is that? You know, what they mean by this? Yeah. Right. I ain't got that. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, not for you. So, <laughs> and where you from? Shit, that that was a time and era for everybody. Right. And I said it was real because uh, it's always been hard for everybody to get out with the music shit to understand how big the city is, number one. But the main thing is try to stay you know, consecutive. Mm -hmm. Whether you're on the radio or not, you know what I'm saying? Just stay. Yeah, consistent. Stay on, yeah. You know, keep consistent getting with your shit, consistent, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit, you good. But a lot of, but a lot of, you know, we fired it up. Cause man. you finna let you just let that hoe die. Man, I'm on it. <laughs> and we get lit over this. Young game fun. today, is just like I said, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a different thing, man. But it's also, like I said, folks, like you see a different shit and just know that are they business minded? Right. I mean, that's a question. And are they business minded? Most not. What I've been seeing, it's a handful of them, right? Right. But are they, are they business minded? Not really. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm saying about talking this shit mm -hmm. on that mic and understand again. Say, man, okay, well, if you copyright what you're saying and everything else, publishing it, I guess I don't understand how nobody is saying how the we going to jail for song number two. I know that's perfect. You right see now. what I'm saying? Yeah, I see right now they're changing that motherfucking law too, so where they can't use it no more too. Exactly. You know, because they know, because they know that shit, that shit, that's freedom of speech. God exactly, damn it. man. That's you know what I'm saying? saying that mad nigga, <coughs> mad nigga, I, I nigga listen to Gangsta Nip in this era. It's like, God damn it, Gangsta Nip is a case from song number seven. He said he was born in some machine, died in a wheelchair. You man, know what I'm saying? Like, man, that, I mean, they, they, that's, what they, that's what the parental advisory is sticking for. You know what I'm saying? Explicit content or overrated ly lyrics and stuff like that in fairy tale, but they ain't gonna go race no country singer. Uh, when country singer talking about raping her wife yeah, and uh, saying killing her, you know what I'm saying? And fuck the bitch, you know what I'm saying? And all that in that song, you know, but they gonna come right over here to us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Do what they do. But, like, uh, man, what's some things, man, you learned along your journey, man, that really helped you to this day in the point, you know what I'm saying? The time. Mm. I say I would just say call uh, being persistent, being on my shit, um, and most definitely just learning that every girl to the transmission. Mm -hmm. So when you're driving a car, you know you're really driving it because you took time and you know study study what you got going on. So that way you won't be no no dummy about what you're out here doing, being an artist or CEO or whatever the fuck it might be. And just you know. Back that changed me in this game was just seeing people just, you know, 
not see the uh, the bullshit coming. Right. You know, um, it's a story as story after story after story, said, said, whatever it might be. You know, of, of, of us not being, you know, together, niggas is then some shit happened and now niggas is, you right. know, at the same time, you know, when, you, when you're from the era, people trying to network and do business with networking, but networking, and, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, yeah. Networking was networking. People want to fuck with you, fuck with them, whatever it might be, everybody doing their thing. Now it's like everybody doing their thing, but nobody's trying to come and get let's make sure we get here. Yeah. So that's what got me there. Everybody I fuck with said, man, that's what I'm doing, I'm trying to. You can't get, yeah, can't get none of my shit, you don't say my, my real name on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I and I, I'm a firm believer of the, of the arts. I'm a firm believer of the, of the business. I'm a firm believer of the of the hustle. Mm -hmm. So they transcend the game. What they got it right now. I just believe it. If you rapping or uh, MCing, man, make sure you're on your business. Cause you know it's not like the branding shit. It wasn't that thick back then. Yeah. What did you always want to be before MC or anything? Oh, you getting in that music? What did you always want to be? I was basketball, football. Basketball, football. I was goddamn in basketball, football. Uh, what I wanted to do though, I was going to college when I had a baby. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. What I wanted to do though, I don't know, man. I was young. This was, this was, this was like I say. My homie got killed again. He went from you know, he did good in art class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah, nigga did good in art class. Nigga skipped school. The nigga had authority at school to beat on windows and and, and DJ and make some 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 booster money. <laughs> they want our speakers tonight. Yeah. Like, How much you charge? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right now, for real. For so real. it's like it's a different it's a different animal when it comes to cutting out just. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, right. you know, people that raised me, they had big speakers at the party. You know? <laughs> Like, what yeah. if this nigga got this shit here? Like, bring us some bumps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, okay, you it's learn real bump. quick. Okay, these <laughs> yeah. niggas over here doing this and doing that. We just sitting here banging this shit, and we can make some money outside the rap. I said so many things to this MC rapping shit. It's not just run your face and bunch of you gonna organize your game, do your own show. You might have your own equipment. You can, you can book the building. You can bring. You can bring the equipment. You can mm -hmm. get down. Two part question. Yeah. Two part question. Mr. Elbow out the windows. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, elbows out the window. Charlie. You know what I'm saying? So, like, all right. Let's see how I can put it. Like, what, what do you what do you see yourself in five years? And the second question is, how many albums do you really think you got? Cause you got a catalog. I got a long catalog. Five years, I really can say if, if, I, if I get the opportunity to be a real A&R somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I've been pretty good with all uh, those things like, you, like you're doing right here, but I'm real, I, I, I didn't deal with it a little bit, but, you know. I see myself a and r man, at the same time, got a lot of shit I've been doing. I'm interested in doing outside of some, mm -hmm. you know, music shit, but I've been doing that anyway. Right. I've been blessed enough to... Uh, Raised five girls, man. I see his grandkids and been independent worldwide chasers and lost a lot of niggas in this rap shit. Right. Lost a lot of niggas in the street shit. But I ain't gonna lose the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. What I know, you know what I'm saying? What I do, you know what I'm saying? You know? When I see when I see the A bar MJGs and the Bomb B's, all that man, them them like seeing my people, them like seeing my brothers, but again, been around them doing their business. Right. You know, might just be fucking off and they had a show with a nigga, a nigga brought a nigga, or whatever it might be, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking so about. So it's never been know. no it's never <laughs> been no no time with somebody I admired as an MC. You know what I'm saying? That right. that showed me, man, be real with this shit cause ain't no plan. You know what I'm saying? Like Get that money, man, and then when you when you organize or uh, be a mastermind, you can sit with the with the D Rex and the you know the Midwest Records and the Southwest Wholesale and select them hit your goddamn self. You feel me? Right. And none of that represent yourself. So that's why you gotta love your Mo threes. Mm-hmm. 
Why you gotta love your little bees? Why you gotta love your little vines? You trap boyfriend, you do the what's the fat nigga or extra plug? Yeah, extra plug, yeah. Um, South Dallas uh, Kiki. Yeah, South Dallas Kiki. Uh, like I say, Gutter J. Uh, who else? Yeah, two times. Rock your magic ball. Yeah, boy, say shout out, Rock him. <laughs> and, uh, 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 and you ain't jamming, bro. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the new OG Tum Tum. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. And same thing, you know. Just this is the Tom, man. You see, I ain't, you know, what I'm saying, nigga trying to enjoy itself and right, right. keep it independent. You right. Know? And nigga that been, everybody been, man. The look wheels, the everybody. Right. Everybody, in, in, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody stopped. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they from the home of the hustlers. That's number one. So if people just don't know everybody. Ain't nobody stopped hustling. I don't give a damn what nigga didn't got up here right now. They still trying, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody trying to get a pin nigga to dial in and everything. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, back to what you were saying. That's what got me here, though, man. It's hard work, man, being persistent, trying to make sure they understand I'm serious about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got time to be playing bullshit, man. Trying to make some money, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can rap all day, man. Right. We can hustle all night, but goddamn it. You know, How long that catalog? How long you think your catalog is? You got me up here counting my mind while I'm talking around my face. Yeah, I know. I know you over there thinking, because that catalog is long. It's man. long, man, but it's, it's, long. But it's long, again, because, again, what I just said. Just, right. And but you never have, having a problem, like, you right. know, never having a problem, you know, it's like... Because yours can live on forever now. Like, I mean, you got... It has to. You, you got Jamie Foxx. From Dallas. Roger Trapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, not not to mention everybody from Dallas. You don't do the song yeah. then. But not, but, but not only that, it's just like, the same people I say I'm not even... I ain't been talking to it like nigga. I'm still John Hancock and putting their real name and I'm putting the shit up. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. I, 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 I don't remember. I don't remember. I got an album. I'm, with not, CD. Sitting, I'm not even. And sitting, my name on there. I say, yeah. damn. <laughs> I'm not sitting around for have a nigga on the album and be mad at me. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, like, man, yeah. You put your name right there. So you don't talk about your shit. That's not my job, right? Right, right, right. Then, right. right. Nigga, I done sat there. I done sat there and got an album. Now I sit there, and nigga. I say, damn, copy me on and put my name on that bitch. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, y'all niggas, sound for something. Yeah, yeah, shit, shit. Right, it's quite business. Come on, y'all niggas, y'all sound for something. Yeah, sound yeah. for something. Y'all sound for something, man. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> man, jam your OG, my nigga, Rally Boy, Cotton Mouth Jesus, Mike, please, Mike. Yeah, please. Yeah, but now, really. catch up on it. Yeah, for real, man. Catch up on it, Mike. Before we get up out of here, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, before I get up out of here, man. This part one, though, man, I'm saying. Yeah, because I got to have you back, because we, we got a lot of stuff, man. Like, I got I got so many questions I want to ask you. Well, I said we going but, long, though. We haven't. But, but I ain't seen, I ain't seen Fish when you holding up one show, though. <laughs> So let me see, man. Like, okay. So, oh man, I got so many questions I want to ask you. Okay, because I don't want to ask the last question yet, but you know my last question. Okay, let me see. I got to get one more before I get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who you been having? Who, who you been having your eye on right now as far as the music? Like, you know what I'm saying? And like who you always wanted to work with that you never got a chance to work with? Who I want to work with, I never got a chance to work with. Off the heat, I'm, I'm gonna say a uh, cat named uh, Big Mellow and Carrie is one. Hold up, hold up. Say the first question again, though. Okay, first question, like, who you got your eye on right now that's that's, that's hot right now, that's bubbling up, that no, you been... Yeah, bubbling up. A bunch of people, but I can say locally or worldwide. Both. Yeah, I get both, then, shit. I take both. Worldwide, uh, what's the white boy? It's white boy bubbling right now? Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. Oh, the Jack Harlow. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Uh, Seen that uh, he did something with a company. It was a good look for him. 
Uh, yeah. I think it was United Masters or something like that. Cause it was a good look for him, but again, yeah. I recognized that. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Every time you, you, right. you rap niggas that you can't recognize niggas just... Right. And you know it because yeah, it's a difference. It's a difference from sitting there online and yeah. getting off your motherfucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On whatever, on, on, on all levels though, when it ain't going good. Right. When it is good. Mm -hmm. And then you get to a point where you want to just roll it out mm -hmm. and take your time and think you just can't get up no more and just get to it like that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I say, you know, every time I see a young nigga with that, with that, he got his eye on the prize, he on his way. Uh, everybody get that look, right? Right. I know what you're talking about. You feel me? So everybody get that look. But if you get through getting that look, don't don't stop having your own look. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So I just hope the young nigga start just being a, a better understanding, like a like a look. Dirt can't be the only nigga showing you young niggas how to. And Dirk ain't no young cat like Dirk been around. Right. You feel what I'm saying? He's showing you, you know what I'm saying, man, we gotta get Yeah, but you gotta get out there and you gotta get, you know what I'm saying, man. Right? You see you gotta come with it. Show me, show me, show me what you learn. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, know but you know, we just transitioning from a from a new part of the game where everybody gotta wash their ass. Mm -hmm. It used to be a point in time where like I say, the game the game back here, the, the artists up there, now everybody gotta be on the same accord because they'll come snatch the, the golden blunts and get the bitches. they just you know what I'm saying? They just snatch up the Uber driver car and they just be just dropping off noodles and shit. So everybody can get hung up on some bullshit yeah, in the uh, rap game now. Yeah. The entourage, goddammit. Yeah, the entourage going down. Goddamn it, where we at with it then? Yeah, man. You yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigga, we, we gotta stay protected. We gotta protect yeah. everything at all costs. So <laughs> that lets you know the right. impact we done had on the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For real. You feel me? Like bitch, they they wanna do somebody this hill cause yeah. everybody can go now. Yeah. Yeah, the nigga who just come by and smoke blunts and have a, you know what I'm saying, some good weed, he can go too. <laughs> you know? So, man, what, so what advice would you give somebody, in, in, you know what I'm saying, trying to do the same thing or, or travel in your shoes? What advice would you give them? Stay focused. Stay focused. Be about your business. Yeah. Be about your business, stay focused, and make sure what you're doing involves making some type of uh, money. Okay, what you got out? What you, what you working on new? You know what I'm saying? Because I know you always got something bubbling. I know you always keeping music coming. I, I see you. Uh, I got the, I got the, 20, I got the yeah. 25th year of uh, 25th year of Killer Coffee is part two, man. Blow gonna do, or about to do. You know, we, got a, we got a couple of songs already. 25 years of Killer Coffee is part two. Uh, Outside of that, man, I remember Pop All the Year. Shit, yeah, Pop All the Year. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You hear that? You know what I'm saying? Take care of your kids, niggas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you what it is. Like yeah. I say, the game ain't what it, the game ain't, ain't, ain't what it, ain't what it is because it's not, it's not particularly our era. You know, the, right. era, the era that it is, these cats are doing their thing. I, I just hope they had a the mindset that we grew up on and, and be focused and ready for everything that come with everything that they gotta deal with. The battles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they, they gotta they got a whole new pile of shit to deal with that we would never like, okay, everybody can you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, he gotta the nigga that that put be on it being the, the head front, he gotta he gotta make sure everybody's on point because he can get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to say, like right? everybody. No matter what it is, locally, nationwide, especially like I said in our city, man, we got a lot of young talent, man. We got a lot of people who did a lot of shit. And I can go on and on for days, you know. I know everybody, I met everybody. I try to. Right. You feel me? I got something coming out of Money Water with DOC and Lucci. It's Money Water song, though, but Lucci on the DOC. Sally. Sally, yeah. Yeah, that's Sally, yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting mm -hmm. on Money to roll it out. I'm waiting to. Money, I'm waiting to. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a so good look. So niggas said, be, you know, everything I try to do now is not calculated, but it's kind of like fine wine. Right. You know, when you know, when I'm set to go where I need to go, I need to go. You know what I'm saying? Nigga know where I need to be at. But it's not like I'm out here like, okay, man, um, you know, let's roll this shit out from New York to Cali. You know, but at any point, given time, if I have a chance to do this, if not, I know how to go out there and do it, I'm going to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Nah, for real, for real. But it come down to my city, I'm just, uh, Legendary family, a legendary family. I mean, you dirt. With you the like game. you say that fly on the wall everywhere. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Legendary, but legendary game, man. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. you know it's like 
You know, I don't look for no cars when niggas say the best of downs and all that sort of bullshit or uh, fences and shit. Cause right. there's a lot of cats that just like me, you know, the seven the greatest, just like me, the big chiefs, everybody, man, Luch, everybody. You know, and it's like I ain't had a, I ain't had every opportunity I can to make sure a nigga understands. Like, yeah, man, we on the south side, we on, we on, we on, we on, we on. I was trying to do a good to it, man. And, right. Ain't no back and down and represent your shit and, and make good music and make people understand who you are as a businessman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, like I say, we're here giving you your flowers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Because, like, it's a lot of y'all, but, it's a, lot a, of but, us, but it's, a, it's a fruit who really impact lives. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, you right. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's a few who really raises us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 I went yeah. through that. Uh -huh. I, I'm, I got a fucking 1200s. So I got speakers and mm -hmm. next thing I know this nigga down the street, he got the same shit, go fuck with him and he ain't stopped like that. Right. You know, I come up in the game, they didn't have a regular label, now you got a label, kind of come to a verse or yeah. You know, and I ain't never come through with the with the, with the uh, stuck up shit. And that's why I'm here right now, continuing that legacy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm out here touching everybody. You know what I'm saying? Out here doing what what, what OG's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And and as a you know person coming up, you know what I'm saying? Following those, you know what I'm saying? What they say them them guidelines, them G codes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't think you a chance to discuss throughout what we was talking about for the young nigga shit. Is me just losing my nephew, young pig. Pig, shout out pig, man. Just saying on, on the same note, what we talking about? Right, 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 right. So I'm saying, I can go through sixty, we gonna get there, baby. Because everything that's addressed to what I've been through out here in my city, like you know, I done made noise, I did my thing, I had opportunities, I took full advantage of. Them. And it's a lot of things that have went on in this city that you know I need translate and help, not just on the cultural or the side of music, but the business side. I'm making sure you can bathe the city shit in the stoves and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, I'm good, man. Man, it's like, man. Free pig, goddamn it. Even though, you know, I know the situation, but nigga still free pig. Pig yeah. had to, but that one album was say. Yeah. And you but have right. It, but making that investment. Yeah. Not money wise, but just family wise, blood wise, and making, trying to make sure a nigga. And not being able to just do that, you know, a nigga went to a whole little phase that fucked me up. I remember, I, I remember when you, I remember, shit. Yeah. Man, but people don't know that yeah. fucked me up. Like, yeah. I, 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 shh. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, shit. Yeah, you got ghosts for a second, shit, on the cool. I ain't get ghosts, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you, hear, you went down the steps, sit down. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> sit down, it's like I say, it's like, um, it got mental health now. Yeah, take yeah. care of that. Nah, it just... Just saying, you know, like, you know, my nephew got caught up in the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Caught mm -hmm. up in this bullshit, street shit, and, you know, and you don't want nobody coming to a store taking your shit out because your, your nephew face on the CD. And we got out. Come get out of this guy. They go through that when you're fucking with some music shit. It's the same thing. Like, that's early for me. You know what I'm talking about? That should be deep because you know went through so many processes, boy. So early for me, you're early. See, mm -hmm. Okay, man, this nigga here, we was doing the thing, and you know, not only him, got a lot, a lot of little nephews did like dumb shit and paid for it, and you know, but you sit there like, damn, man, you know, and now we here, you know. So, like I say, what we're doing now with these podcasts and tell people these real stories that you present for cats like me to let the young niggas know it's never been a game, it's serious. Mm -hmm. Take care of your business, don't, don't, don't be in this victim, really, that's on the street side, on the industry side. Right, yeah. it's not the last question I always ask everybody the other night, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, hmm. what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Hmm. Boy. Hmm.
the street shit is always gonna be like this band called uh, some little young kids broke that from the threes to the yellows to the traps to the scrubs to the tones, everybody broke a broke a level. Mm -hmm. To the point boys, to the little duggies, the wheel, you know what I'm saying, the poopy boots, the chief of the meat the legs, the gators, the twisted backs, the everybody had broke a level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we was just right there with, with three. And then we got people like Bobby B getting planks and, you know. Eric Banks and, and all you know, that. Eric, yeah, yeah Eric Banks and all the people that we got in our city doing this yeah. big shit. So we just see them support us free, like you said. Wow, yeah. He represent the town. And I come up like that. If I didn't need bad time even Dallas. Especially, you know, the days when the H time was on, we was, we was little minorities. Right. Facts. You know what I mean? It was what it was. So it was like us now. Goddamn. <laughs> but they was cowboy fans. You know what I'm saying? So anything from a town, just support it. Because everybody's still. Facts. And we even had people from here that didn't hit that city. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have them. So this ain't nothing new. Nobody's on Eric's level, DOC level, nobody's there. Right. That's his story, that's monumental shit. Nobody's, you know what I'm saying? The shit that we have in our general, what we call the culture, whatever it might be. We got a lot of people who are from this motherfucker that didn't hit this city, man, still going. So every year we might get a new one, new one, new one, new one. So I ain't never been mad at that, because I'm going to be the concrete and the the one storm windows of this bitch and, you know what I'm saying, if I can open the door, I'm gonna open the door. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You rock with me, rock with you, cause I'm gonna be paying that like, man nigga from where I'm from. I gotta be a super fan, just know I'll support you. You know what I'm saying? Right on. Right on. Hey, when you meet me, I'm gonna get the game, make sure you're straight. You gonna make sure I'm straight, I'm gonna listen, you might listen, we gonna, I mean, for every young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cause where y'all at with it now, just stay focused, cause, it's all about you. Yeah, I come for you, nigga. It's a new ball game. Well, the floor is yours, man. Tell them where they can get the music, where they can follow you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to give any shout outs, because I do the shout outs, the roll call, you know man, what I'm saying? Man, we talking like we had a red conversation <laughs> in the studio and shit. Because we, yeah, yeah, shit. It really is, man. But uh, I ain't got no shout out, man. Just shout out to the city, man. And uh, shout out to everybody who, I don't give a damn. What a motherfucker tell you, man. Just you know, if you represent the city, man, you you don't need the music to to, uh, to see the culture, man. You don't need the music to see the culture, man. We we did it all, man. You know, everybody who did something and presented something, you know. I've always supported. I always gonna make sure I don't give a damn what it is. Five minutes, whatever it is, man. Support is free. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga just gonna show up, show up, whatever it might be. But uh, everybody keep on pushing. Whatever it's the street shit, rather it's the you know, the um, the real MC shit, the battle rap shit, whatever level it is, the DJ shit, the, gra the graffiti shit, the art shit, the podcast shit, the blogging shit, the DJ, whatever it is, man, you from Dallas, man, just make sure you represent the town and, 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 and giving your city a chance to be heard from the town just here. You know what I'm saying? And man, shout out to the town, man, everybody I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? It's all love, man. Man, shout out to the whole city. You know what I'm talking about? Like I say, he's coming back. Yeah, I'm coming back, man. You know what I'm talking podcast. about? You know what I'm talking about? So, you know what I'm saying? Get about your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, get up off that motherfucking monkey shit and we'll pop this bitch. Yeah. It got long, girl. It's a street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't going to be shit. But I always knew that I would be.